Happy Sunday to all of you, my awesome viewers, subscribers, fans, friends, mods, Super Chat Heroes for February 2022, all the members, and of course, all you cowgirls, cowboys, cowpokes out there. Hope you are having a great weekend as we prepare to head back into Red Dead Redemption Multiplayer Road to Legendary on the Xbox. Max Emma, what's up, Max? Belfast Gamer. Hey, Belfast, how you doing today? Good to see you. Hope everyone is having a great day or preparing to wrap up an awesome weekend. Hopefully a good week lies ahead for all of you. So, yeah, we're moseying back into Red Dead Redemption multiplayer, Road to Legendary. And I'm going to go ahead and give you the backstory in case you didn't know. I've been playing Red Dead Redemption multiplayer since it came out over a decade ago, shortly after the release of Red Dead Redemption, but I never reached legendary status. Now, technically, you have five different legendaries and five different badges, uh, five different legendary characters you unlock, and of course, five different legendary mounts, but I never played it long enough or motivated myself to get legendary. And I decided since there's nothing going on in Red Dead Online and there's also the very real possibility that we may never see future updates or content to Red Dead Online and I still want to do something Red Dead related, why not go back and play Red Dead Redemption multiplayer? And so we started doing that last week and we've been having a blast. We had a great time last week playing Red Dead Redemption multiplayer and I'm just getting back into it. And I think that there's a lot of things that they introduced in Red Dead Redemption multiplayer that would have uh, made Red Dead Online even better if they would have ported it over properly. Well, copy posited, I suppose. But there is a lot to enjoy out of Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. And the cool thing is, as long as you have a copy of Red Dead Redemption, Internet, Xbox Live, and either an Xbox One or an Xbox Series X or S, you're able to actually play Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. And for the most part, it still looks okay. I mean, there's obvious issues. It's a decade-old mode that uh, hasn't been touched or updated, and it's probably never going to be updated by Rockstar because it's been long since abandoned. The only reason why Red Dead Redemption multiplayer and GTA 4 multiplayer are still around is because of the Microsoft servers. It's Microsoft that keeps Red Dead Redemption multiplayer up and running, and people are still playing it and having a blast doing so. So we're going to get back into it today. We had a great time last uh, Sunday. And I kind of went back and retconned the other two episodes of my Red Dead Redemption series. I, I've had one prior to that where we just hang, hanged out in Mexico. I guess you could say it's kind of a prequel episode, if you want to call it that. But episode one and two, even though they weren't part of the Road to Legendary series, technically ranking up in the game is on the Road to Legendary. So I've retconned them. That's just the way it's going to go. Some retcons work better than others, and I think these work just fine. So that's why it's called Red Dead Redemption Multiplayer Road to Legendary Episode 4. So just uh, wanted to clarify that. By the way, you can always go back and check out previous uh, episodes of Red Dead Redemption Multiplayer in the RDRMP playlist. And uh, speaking of playlists, if you go over to the Star Wars playlist, if you're a Star Wars fan, or if you go to the Community tab or to Twitter, Facebook, and the, the TV Tavern in uh, our awesome Discord community, you will notice that I did post a review of Book of Bubba Fett that is officially up, so feel free and check it out. And uh, Anderson, what's up, Anderson? How's it going? Good to see you, Anderson. So yeah, Book of Bubba Fett review is officially out. Uh, the first small part is non-spoilers. I try my best just to give a, like a quick review, non-spoilery, and then we, we dive into uh, a lot of spoilers regarding uh, the Book of Bubba Fett. For anyone that is also a Star Wars fan interested in my thoughts regarding Book of Fett, feel free and check out that video. It's uh, in the community tab. It's also in the Discord and posted on Facebook, Twitter, and over on GB Fang, which is uh, my other channel. It's my Viva Variety channel where I post political stuff like my political, uh, what, the political compass. And I've done some other videos as well. A lot of older videos and I decided to bring back that channel from the dead again. I've done it a few times. Uh, Panos, what's up, Panos? It's Jay's here. What's up, it's Jay? How you doing? Good to see all of you. So we're about to get started with Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. But yeah, check out GB Fang if you're interested in any non-gaming content. So gaming content, obviously, right here. 
Then we have the vlogs channel where Riley and I, at the end of the month, we do a, like an hour long monthly vlog where we uh, fly around in Microsoft Flight Simulator because Riley likes flying around in the jets. And we talk about things that transpired in the month. So we'll have, I guess, the February 2022 vlog uh, probably in a few weeks from now around the end of February. But the January 2022 vlog is up, obviously. So yeah, we're heading back into Red Dead Redemption multiplayer today. Road to Legendary. And the goal is to at least achieve Legendary status one, I guess, get the first badge. I don't know if I'll end up eventually getting all five badges and unlike all five Legendary characters and all five mounts. It'd be cool if I did, but that's not really my my goal. My, my I guess my first goal, first and foremost in this series, is to at least get to rank 50 in order to get the first Legendary badge. I think that's that's a good enough goal. More realistic than doing it five times in a row, but you never know. Maybe I'll keep doing it. <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see. But I do appreciate everyone's here today. If you enjoy the Red Dead Redemption multiplayer series, which will be on uh, Sundays going forward on our road to Legendary, 12 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. UK, feel free and leave a like. And Rob's here. Afternoon, Rob. How's it going? Good to see you. So I do appreciate everyone being here. All of you are awesome for hanging out, watching my streams and my content, all my awesome viewers, subscribers, fans, friends, the mods who always do a great job modding. And of course, our February 2022 Super Chat heroes with their golden hearts because uh, Valentine's uh, Day is tomorrow, our Singles Awareness Day. And uh, oh yeah, it's also Super Bowl Sunday. So hooray. Uh, Rams or Bengals, who are all of you going for? So thanks to the Super Chat Heroes for February 2022. And of course, all of our members, the elite members, Yuji Outlaw, Belfast Gamer, who's in the chat and going to be posing up with me today. By the way, check out Belfast's channel. It's linked below in the description section. Other elite members include Fire, Anger Veteran Forge, Rufus the Red, Catamount. And the other members are Azulin, ACG, Mike Lambert, Dark Mountain Wolf. And honorable mention to our junior members, Tokyo Temp, Hutch Plays, Along with DeForest Smith, Brett, you're getting banned, The Gaming Jew, T Mad TV, Eric Bell, and Scoundrel. Junior members, members, elite members in February 2022, Super Chat Heroes going above and beyond for the Go Burns Nation. All right. Back into Red Dead Redemption multiplayer we go. So, how's everybody doing this weekend? Let me know. See, Pano says, GV, what do you think about the silence from Rockstar regarding Red Dead Online? Uh, it doesn't really surprise me, uh, Panos. They're not the best at uh, communicating with their fans. They communicate when they want to communicate. So, but the problem is their silence speaks volumes. It'd be nice if they, uh, what, last Tuesday? Well, not last Tuesday, the Tuesday before. Damn, it's been that long. Time flies. Duh. But in that newswire for the February 2022 newswire, it would have been nice if Rockstar would have at the very least reassured the Red Dead Online fan base that they had not abandoned Red Dead Online with some sort of like, hey, you know, coming up later this year, more content for Red Dead Online. But they didn't even do that. So that's a bad sign. See, it's Jay. Thank you so much for uh, subbing to GB Fang. It's technically the parent channel, the gaming channel, but it's it's smaller it started over a decade ago when I was more into politics and off and on I brought back the channel throughout the years because I do still have that political itch and I just I need somewhere to put my political thoughts and other random thoughts all right so I, I made a mistake that I need to fix real quick I, I feel terrible about it so I need to do that real quick I'm gonna go back to the outfielder and Look, I was just looking at all the stuff. I don't, You unlock a lot of stuff in Red Dead Redemption multiplayer as you rank up from, like, horses to different characters you can play as to different uh, titles. And I, I feel bad that I changed my title. I feel very ashamed that I did because I, I think uh, my deputy prefers being known as the Bear Starer. So we're going we're gonna to go back to Bear Starer because, I mean, that's a cool title. I'm the bear starer. I don't know why, but some of these are very random. But I do like the fact that you have a lot of these different uh, goals to aspire towards. All right, so let me just try and find. I don't know wh which one it is in. I forgot exactly which one of these uh, bear starer was in. But I'll, I'll find it eventually. All right. 
What was it? Weapon skill? No, I don't think. It's, damn, every all my weapons. I'm I suck at weapons. I probably suck at um competition as well. All right. I did on a whim change it to deputy, but my character is clearly a deputy, which it it doesn't really make sense for the deputy to be called deputy. I just want I just want him to be known as the bear starer. All right. So yeah, I think the legends are the ones that will unlock as you get legend status. I think. I could be wrong about that. See, Leonard, what's up, Leonard? How's it going? I see they don't think of us as fans, but stupid consumer cattle. Yeah. I just think Rockstar's terrible at communicating, and I think that they're they're so full of themselves they believe that they don't have to communicate, and they receive no backlash for it. All right. Where the hell is this title? And I also love the taunts that each of these each of these characters has. Uh, I passed it. Uh, RF, RKFU. Uh, which one was it in? <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Does that ever happen to any of you? You're like you're looking for something. I was in challenges. Thank you, RKFU. <laughs> I, I had a bad feeling that was going to happen. I hate it when that happens. I'm glad y'all are here to. Oh, it's, it's literally right there. <laughs> uh, I swear. Oh, yeah, I got a new mount. Oh, yeah, let's check out the mounts I've unlocked, okay? So you start off with poor El Senor, right? But as you rank up, you end up getting uh, the nag. And I, I think, uh, Belfast, you told me you got the nag, right? You finally unlocked the nag. And then eventually you start getting better horses like the Turkman. And then you end up getting the Cleveland Bay. But my newest horse is a Hungarian half-breed. So we finally got the Hungarian half-breed. We have uh, two more uh, regular mounts you unlock. And I think this is the American Standard Bread, I believe. It's a beautiful black horse. And then you get a bull. And then you start getting... These are all the legendary. So these are all the legendary mounts you can eventually unlock. No, actually, uh, no, the bull is a legendary. It's the first legendary. So this is the first legendary mount. And then as you progress and more legendaries, you can have up to five legendary mounts eventually. But the Zonky, the Zonky is like the end game. That's like the, the cream of the crop. That's the ultimate prize in Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. There's also legendary uh, characters you can get to. But we're going to go in with the uh, Hungarian Half-Bred. It's a good horse. The Cleveland Bay is pretty good too. And the Turkmen was okay. It's definitely better than uh, the Nag. But I... I didn't have any issues with my Cleveland Bay. The Cleveland Bay was a pretty good horse, but I'm liking the Hungarian Hapred so far. All right, we'll go back in the free roam now. All right, where do we leave off? You keep getting killed by tryhards. I'm sorry about that, Belfast. This is one of the downsides of an online game. Rob says, I didn't know who was even playing the Super Bowl. Uh, yeah, it's the Rams versus uh, the Bengals, I think. All right, I'm going to try and join on... I'm going to try and join on uh, Belfast. Okay, so Belfast is actually in the lobby with me. Okay, hold on. So I actually randomly joined Belfast's lobby. All you gotta do is pull the trigger. I love these freaking taunts. These taunts are, are the best. They're the best, Jerry. <laughs> That's why I like the deputy. I just love his taunts. They're gold. Alright, come on, Galaxy Traveler. And yeah, I still call the horse Galaxy Traveler. It goes with the lore! The lore! Because I always call my horse Galaxy Traveler because it's actually a demigod that takes horse form. So, yeah, it's just a... Some people find it amusing. Alright, so where's Belfast at? Let me look on the map and find Belfast. In a second, Belfast, we're going to go ahead and go into the, the, the gaming, the casual gaming, because that's the best way to earn the XP. All right, so there's a rando. Probably going to kill me, but that's okay. I expect it. I mean, it's, a, it's an online game. I mean, what do you expect, right? <laughs> I love the taunts. <laughs> the taunts are so good. At least I don't have to deal with stupid bullshit uh, griefing like in Red Dead Online. Like the explosive ammo and all... I mean, there's obviously issues in Red Dead Redemption multiplayer because it... Hasn't been tended to in over a decade, but oh well. Not really a big deal in my opinion. 
Yeah, let me get Belfast a better horse. And once again, Belfast channel is linked below in the description section. All right, Belfast, here you go. You can uh, you can have uh, your own Hungarian half breed. That's another thing I like about about Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. If you like have players that are lower ranked than you, you can give them a better mount. And then once they get on the mount, then you can call in an identical mount. Hey, Snake, how's it going? Good to see you, Snake. All right, you may want to hurry up and jump on j Belfast. Jump on the horse. Unless you're as happy with the nag, I mean, you're the nag is better than El Senor, but the Hungarian half-bred is way better. <laughs> it's a way better horse. All right. So once he's on uh, the Hungarian half-bred, then I can call in another one. There, there we go. All right. So this works out pretty well. All right. So there you go. See, it's it's nice to do for lower rank players. And there were times whenever I was a lower, a little bit lower rank, and I'd have like much higher rank players, like legendary players, come up to me, and they would like give me a zonkey. They'd call in a zonkey for me, and that'd be that'd be really cool to ride around on a zonkey. It'd be nice if I ever reached the point where I ranked up like enough times to get the zonkey, but I doubt it. That shit ain't happening. All right. So I guess what we'll, one thing we learned last week is it's for some reason we, we were trying to get people to join us, and it was a real pain. And this lobby may already be maxed out with people. So, but when we tried to invite people, we had a devil of a time doing so. But one thing we did learn from last week is the best way to get people to join is to actually get them to join through like a, a casual game of PvP, some friendly PvP. Plus the PvP is a good way to earn XP. So that works too. Alright, so what are we going to do today? I don't know. What should we do, everybody? Should we just go ahead and go into... Uh, some casual gaming, or do y'all want me to uh, ride over into Mexico? I guess we could we can ride around Mexico in a minute. Maybe we can go fight the Bobcats. Get into a Bobcat war. We'll do that. There's Butterbridge. I really do hope that Rockstar hasn't completely abandoned Red Dead Online and does intend on putting new updates out. It would be awesome if they did. I, I doubt it. But obviously, I think one of those updates that a lot of people would like to see one day is the uh, Mexico expansion. That'd be awesome. Whether or not it actually happens, uh, who knows. Boring streamer! What's up, boring streamer? How you doing? Hope you're having a good weekend so far. Uh, some co-op missions? Uh, yeah, we could do that. Um, I think I think Belfast is AFK at the moment. Let me look, let me look on the map. Yeah, I think he's AFK. Like, I'm, I'm not even in the same country as Belfast anymore. In real life or in video games. He's still in America. I'm down in Mexico. Uh, we have people at El Presidio, so they're probably manning the cannons. They're probably going to blast me to ribbons before I even get close to El Presidio. See, there's El Presidio right there. Panos, uh, Red Dead Redemption uh, must be very nice. It, it looks okay. I mean, obviously, graphically, Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online looks better. And I, I think most of y'all can agree with that. But there's just something fun about the original Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. And that's one of the reasons why I've come back to it. Because at least I have something to focus on. Trying to get legendary status. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Stop. Looking to ordering some wings for the game. Oh. What game? Oh, the big game. Oh, the the Super Bowl. Okay, so I'm like, Buffalo Wings. I was thinking you were talking about a video game. Like, you were going to or like buy some wings for like an online game or something boring. I, I don't know where I was trying to go with that boring. But, okay, I, I get it. I get it. So, yeah, anyone going to be watching? Obviously, boring's going to be watching. Anyone else going to be watching the Super Bowl? If so, what teams you pulling for? L.A. or, or Cincinnati? The Bengals or the Rams? 
Mm. Alright, so I'm just gonna explore up here real quick. Now, I think this is where I, like in Red Dead Online, when I'm able to sneak across to Mexico. Was it right here? Okay, so maybe it's not this part. But I, I figured out a way to like sneak up on this plateau and Red Dead Online. And uh, I don't think I'm able to do that in Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. Oh, you have some iced coffee? Oh, nice. Very nice. Yeah, I'm more of a regular coffee guy myself. I'm having a soda pop. A cola. Yeah, so it doesn't look like I can actually climb up that, but in Red Dead Online, because Mexico was never finished, uh, there's a part of, like, I think in, in this spot, where you can actually climb up in Red Dead Online and get on top of this plateau. I've done it plenty of times. But I think this is the same spot, if memory serves. But the big difference is, obviously, uh, Nuevo Pareso in, uh, Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Redemption multiplayer is is 100% finished. It's been finished forever. But they never got around to putting the finishing touches on uh, its uh, counterpart in Red Dead Redemption 2 or Red Dead Online. I'm guessing that was their original plan. But they abandoned it for some reason or else they're maybe they're still secretly working on it behind the scenes after all this time. Another player has a price It'll be interesting to see if they actually have plans for, uh... Yep, see, they're shooting at us. <laughs> Fortunately, I, I think that, uh, the range isn't as good. Yeah, I think they're... I think they're... Sh let me look at... Let me look at this real quick. Alright. I'm not gonna shoot them, but I'm just gonna load it. Or else they're just goofing off inside the El Presidio. Yeah, I think that's what they're doing. Cat, don't come in here. Bad, no, bad kitty. Stop it. Bad kitty. See, Akeem, what's up, Akeem? I got money on the bangles. No, 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 don't come in here. Stay out. Bad kitty. That's all I have to do. <laughs> it says to tell me he's a bad kitty, and then it makes him sad, and he leaves. <laughs> Uh, perhaps they're on a deadline or something. Or, or, I mean, it's also possible, Erica, that maybe they originally were going to add uh, Nuevo Pareso, but then they decided not to. And who knows? Maybe since the launch of Red Dead Redemption 2, they've been quietly working on building up Nuevo Pareso. There's no such thing as a bad kitty. You haven't met my cat yet, uh, boring. <laughs> Most of the time, he's actually a good cat. Unless he's being a turd to my older cat. By the way, my older cat, she's like 15 now. I think usually like around this time is about her birthday. It's a guesstimation. So she's officially 15. Doing quite well for a 15-year-old cat. So I'm happy about that. You watch the game for the, for the butts and the commercials. <laughs> But, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably not going to watch the Super Bowl. For one thing, Riley, she doesn't really care for sports. I don't I don't care as much as I used to. I used to kind of care in passing. But, I mean, I'm, I don't have a problem with anybody that watches sports. I mean, it's just another form of entertainment. Just like uh, watching a, a TV show or a movie or playing video games. It's entertainment. See, Panos, you think Rockstar might be working on the next upgrade for Red Dead Redemption? I hope so. That would be cool if they were. See, yeah, cats do live long lives. I mean, for, like, a 15-year-old cat equivalent to a human, that's pretty... I think that's, like, 70 or 80 years old. And Jadis is... I mean, that's, that's her name, Jadis. Uh, you know, she's still doing quite well for a cat her age. Oh, yep, this is Mexico. But maybe, just maybe, eventually they'll add Mexico to Red Dead Online in a future expansion. See, so Snake, you had a cat that lived to be 21 years old? That's a damn good lifespan. 
Especially for a cat. Seth King, what's up, Seth? How's it going? I'm watching because I never thought I'd live to see uh, an Ohio team go to the Super Bowl. Well, it wasn't going to be the Browns, Seth. <laughs> but, yeah. I don't. I just don't know who to go for. I mean, do I go for um, the Bengals? Because I guess I'm on the east side of the country. Is that what I do? Do, do I just be like, no, I'm all about the east side? Okay, I think this is a... Alright, we'll do this one, this activity real quick. Alright. Let's take out the bandits, Belfast. Let's get him! No, one thing. Oh, he's still up. Yeah, Alright, he's down. Of course, you get paid money, but the money doesn't really matter. Damn it. I always wonder why they even bothered, like, putting, like, money payouts. Because in Red Dead Redemption Multiplayer, you have nothing to spend the money on. You get ammo for free. And you, every, all the weapons you get, you have to earn the weapons. You have to earn the mounts. You have to earn the character and titles. So the weapon, the money, the money's kind of pointless. Kind of like Red Dead Online. <laughs> Boring, all my cats are pretty young, around three years old. Wow. Yeah, Ninja, he is about, uh, I think he's gonna be, like, this, I think August or September, he's gonna be like 10. So he's gonna be like 10 years old. I've had him since 2012, and I've had Jadis since 2007. Originally, Jadis was one of my sister's cats, because she was living with me for like a year to get back. She took a year off from high school, after high school in order just to chill, but then she wanted to go into college. And so she crashed in the guest room for like a year in order to get back on her feet. And then while she was here, she she kept begging me to have a cat. She's like, I want a cat. But she had a pretty bad track... Oh, no, I died again. She had a pretty bad track record back then of, of leaving pets with uh, her parents, like with her mom and then with dad. And so I knew that if I agreed to get her a cat, that basically I was agreeing to get myself a cat. At the time, I had a cat. His name was Bandit. He was a very good cat. He passed away in 2012, which is why I ended up adopting Ninja. And they're both black cats, by the way. I've always had a black cat in my family. I've always liked black cats. Jadis is definitely not a black cat. She's like a... A poof ball, like half white, half tabby, half ragdoll. But she's cool too. Of course, she thinks she's the center of attention. She probably believes she's the center of the freaking universe. But whenever I agreed to get a cat for my second youngest sister, who was crashing me for like a year while she got back into school and to college, I knew that by adopting a kitten, I was agreeing to adopting a kitten for me. But, yeah, that's fine. But bear in mind, this was back when my, back in 2007, my, my second youngest sister was still in her late teens, so. She's come a long way since her late teens. She's not, she's not like that anymore. I mean, she's had uh, two dogs for the longest time that were actually sisters, and sadly, one of those sisters, uh, pa one of those dogs passed away years ago. But the reason why uh, I ended up keeping the cat was because I, I grew, I guess, an attachment to the cat. And my uh, sister's husband, uh, he's allergic to cats, so... Yeah, I'll catch up with Chad in a second. You're not really looking forward to the halftime show, Erica? Well, most of the halftime shows usually are not that good. Look, look. The problem is, I keep getting murdered. Here's the problem with the halftime shows. They're not long enough for, like, a, a good enough performance. Like, there have been some decent halftime shows. Like, long ago, Michael Jackson and Prince and a few others put on really good uh, halftime shows. But the problem with the halftime shows is the fact that you only have a limited amount of time for uh, a band or, a, like, a musicians to... To throw some songs up and perform. 
It's just not the same. It's not the same as an actual concert, you know. An actual concert's far more enjoyable. All right. All we gotta do is take out their leaders. I am a guardian angel. Take out the, these other two assholes. There we go. That Wilhelm scream. Alright, we got him. Nice. Well done, Belfast. Well done. Alright, we can go claim our prize now. Uh, Jake, do, you, do I think there'll be a Red Dead Redemption 3? Uh, if, there, is there, if there's ever going to be a future Red Dead game, it's going to be a long ways off, Jake. A long ways off. Okay, so we got the explosive rifle. It's a temporary weapon. And this is the way they should do explosive in uh, Red Dead Online. Is where the only explosive like uh, firearm you can get is the explosive rifle. This is a lot more preferable than what we currently have in Red Dead Online. All right, let me catch up with chat real quick. Um, I two my cats and they were kittens. Last cat, she's one year old, adopted her. Oh, cool. That's cool, boring. Uh, Ninja was actually the name of the cat uh, that the foster gave the cat the name Ninja. I didn't give the cat the name Ninja. No, I didn't name the cat after the streamer. No. <laughs> he j that just happened to be his name. And I decided, you know what, he's, he's used to being called Ninja. So I just, I just kept the name. And I don't really call him that. I call him Turdling or Turd. Turd Cat. Yeah, this game has a very long history. It goes back to a lot of old TV shows and movies. The Wilhelm Scream. See, Panos, you like how sunny it is in Red Dead Redemption. Yeah, there's like this this wavy effect you see in the distance, which also gives the impression that it would be really, really hot down here. That gun was the Griefer's favorite tool, but I mean, the explosive rifle was very limited, though. Because for one thing, it's only one weapon in the game that uses explosive rounds and as you can tell I only have five explosive bullets so if it was limited like this then that would be fine see rob says the Bengals went to the super bowl in the early uh, 90s against the 49ers it didn't end well i hope the Bengals win yeah i hope so i, mean, I hope it's look i just hope it's a good game between the rams and the Bengals. hopefully it's not like a blowout one way or the other all too often it seems like these games are like that that it's either one team wins by a blowout or the other team wins by a blowout. Or it just, it's a very low, like, it's basically a heavily defensive game with very few points on the board. I just hope it's overall a good game. I'm not going to watch it, but I just hope it's a good game. And whoever wins, I hope that the, the best team wins. See, Baseline says, holy guacamole, are you, why, how are you playing this? I'm playing it because uh, I have Red Dead Redemption and I have uh, Xbox. So Xbox One or Xbox Series X or S, as long as you have Red Dead Redemption and Xbox Live Internet, then you can play Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. In fact, we're about to go into uh, some uh, casual games, so let's go ahead and do that. So if anyone wants to join on me in Red Dead Redemption multiplayer, just go into casual games and maybe it'll randomly put you into casual games with Belfast and me. And if you do join, then I'll add you to the posse. That way, when we get out of the casual games, then then we're hopefully thrown into the same lobby. Now, bear in mind, the lobbies are a lot smaller in uh, Red Dead Redemption multiplayer than Red Dead Online. But while we're waiting for more people to join at the nunnery in Los Hermanos, well, Los Hermanos, let me catch up a chat real quick. Let's see, uh, Baseline says that the game, this game is way better than Red Dead Online. There are things about Red Dead Redemption multiplayer that I think if they would have copy pasted over to Red Dead Online at the beginning, would have made Red Dead Online significantly better than it currently is. And there's things I like about Red Dead Online, don't get me wrong, I love Red Dead Online. It's unfortunate that Rockstar has obviously neglected it. But I've always had a soft spot for Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. Hey, Lordis, how you doing, Lordis? Hope you're doing well. I don't think I've ever seen Red Dead Online 
Well, yeah, this is, yeah, Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. So, yeah, it's two completely different, like, uh, multiplayer games. Like, Red Dead Redemption multiplayer was for uh, Red Dead Redemption 1, and Red Dead Online was for Red Dead Redemption 2. But the big difference in Red Dead Redemption multiplayer is you actually can uh, hang out in Mexico. So, we got five people, and if you look at Martin here, Martin is a legendary. So, see, he has the first legendary badge. I is that the first one? But either way, I'm, I'm aspiring in this series to get to legendary status. At least legendary one. So let's we're going to wait for at least one more person to join. And then we'll start. Well, the game's going to start in like a couple seconds. Yeah, no ability cards. No explosive incendiary rounds. No dead eye. No tonics. No meat. It's just straight up PvP. Simple as that. And even though I'm not really into PvP... If I have to pick between which game to PvP in, Red Dead Redemption Multiplayer or, or Red Dead Online, I, I much rather PvP in Red Dead Redemption Multiplayer. To me, it's a lot more fun. All right, so we're up against the legendary two v one. It's well, I don't. I was about to say, I was about to uh, make a uh, Boba Fett spoiler, and I caught myself. Fortunately, by the way, I did do a Boba Fett review. If you want to go check it out. I'll catch up with chat in a minute. We got to deal with this uh, outlaw. Get ready for it. All right. Draw your card. Congratulations. Wow, Belfast! Look at you. Flawless victory. <laughs> Damn, Belfast! Oh, I, I got wrecked. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, the PvP modes are really fun in uh, this game. Uh, you can simply make your own sessions. Um, it's easier said than done because I had trouble last weekend snake inviting people into the lobby. Like, for some reason, we were, we were unable to get people to come in. They just had to randomly come in. I see T-Mad. Howdy, T-Mad. How you doing today? Good to see you, T-Mad. And all of you, I'm glad to have all you here today. The PlayStation resolution is very ugly. Yeah, this looks really good on Xbox One X, and it looks really awesome on Xbox Series X. By the way, I'm playing on Xbox Series X. I got trapped inside the nunnery. That happens. Some oh, shit. Where is he? Damn it. He got me. <laughs> he got me. Um, there's dead. Look, there's dead eye in Red Dead Redemption, the the story mode. Oh. God, he wrecked me. Uh, Vader, what's up, Vader? How's it going? So, in story mode of Red Dead Redemption, yeah, John Marston has dead eye, but in Red Dead Redemption multiplayer, um, uh, no. Oh, fuck, fuck you! <laughs> Damn it, he got me again. He is stomping me. Uh. Alright. Damn it. I'm getting stuck. Okay, okay, come on. Come get him. Reload. Finally! I finally got him. After all these years. <laughs> uh, okay. It's just that the PvP... I think I'm going to make a video about the PvP being better in Red Dead Redemption Multiplayer than Red Dead Online. I mean, ba mainly because it's more simple. You know, it doesn't have all the bullshit, you know? It just doesn't have all the bullshit that Red Dead Online PvP has. Which is annoying. It's like, I just want... Like, if I'm going to PvP, I just want some straight up, like, pew-pew action, you know? That's why I think like older PvP games are are way better because they're more simple. And all too often, I think that the problem is they've they've tried to change the formula over the years. And why do that when the original formula was just fine? Oh, he's going to the church, huh? Justice. Nope, you couldn't find sanctuary here, Martin. <laughs> He, he thought he could in the church, but he was wrong. 
Damn it! <laughs> Got me. <sighs> Raider Fox, what's up, Raider Fox? How's it going? I hope you're doing well. All right. Where? Uh, uh, he's, oh, he's below me. Okay. Plus, there's, there's parkouring in here, too. So, yeah, Team Ad says, I never got how they said Red Dead Revolver's not in the same multiverse as Red Dead Redemption, but two crows. Well, Team Ad, uh, my opinion is Red Dead Revolver is in the same universe. Like, there's two trains of thought. One train of thought is, like, Red Dead Revolver is its own thing, but my opinion is, no, Red Dead Revolver exists in Red Dead Redemption. They're part of the same Red Dead universe, in my opinion. That's how I feel about it. I, I've said that before in other videos. Like, I've, I've even cited some examples. How, like, you just mentioned Two Crows. That's a prime example. Well, well, Twin Rocks. Well, Twin Rocks is. Like, I think Two Crows is debated about whether or not that's uh, Red Harlow's, like, homestead. Before it was destroyed. And his parents were murdered. Alright, where is he? Slide down. Right. Okay. I'm back. We. Shit. He got me. <laughs> uh, no, Gun's not in the same universe because Gun's by a, a completely different developer. You're just thinking about red matches over? Okay. Matches half over. Okay. I'll need to learn to read. Yeah, yeah, Twin Rocks, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, Twin Twin Rocks exists in all of them. Alright, right, keep going. Fuck. Damn it, he got me. <laughs> hey, UG, how's it going? Hope you're doing well, UG. Belfast and I are just playing some uh, Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. Versus Martin. Right. Yeah, so Martin's actually doing way better than us because he's a legendary, but still, it's fun. I mean, at least we're going to earn XP and it's going to help Belfast and me rank up on our road to legendary. So that that's a positive. Alright, nice. Like I said, it's just more. This is more satisfying to me. Even though I get killed, it's more satisfying because, like I said, it's it's basically skills, right? It's just skill versus skill. There's none of that bullshit that you have to deal with in Red Dead Redemption Online, and I get tired of that crap. I'm tired of people like griefing with explosive ammo and using tonics and ability cards and dead eye to their advantage. You might start playing Red Dead Redemption Story on Tuesday. Nice. Cool. Sounds like a, a good idea, UG. Might as well since you got all that set up now. But, uh, UG, I did notice that uh, I couldn't hear Mike during your stream earlier. And I couldn't hear the game audio. So that's, that's something you may want to uh, work on, my friend. Unless you were deliberately keeping the game audio down for Warzone. But it's just something uh, you may want to, to look into and tweak. I know, it's all trial and error. Eventually, you'll get it all set up properly. It takes a quick minute. See, Rain's here. What's up, Rain? How's it going? Team Ass says, I made my PC character look like Red Harlow. Nice. Well, on Red Dead Redemption Multiplayer, you actually can play as Red Harlow. You play as uh, Red Harlow, uh, Annie Stokes, Jack Swift, Buffalo Soldier... And some of the other characters from Red Dead Revolver. Oh, shit. Damn it, he got me. Wait. Several of you say that Gun was a really good game. Leading up to the release of Red Dead Redemption 2, I was going to stream a few Western games, like, during that, uh, the summer, fall, going into Red Dead Redemption 2. And one of those games was actually Gun. I purchased it on Steam. But I could never get it to work properly. I, I 
troubleshooted it, and I could never get it to work. It just, I don't know what was wrong. There was something wonky about it. I had some issues with it. But I could never get gun to work properly. So I just, I got, I got a refund and I just kind of abandoned streaming a uh, gun. I've always heard good things about gun, but I just, I couldn't get it to work properly on my gaming PC. And then I was also going to stream an older game that was made by LucasArts at the time. Sweet <laughs> yeah, he was at the wrong spot. The other game I was going to play, like I mentioned, is uh, an older game by uh, LucasArts called uh, Outlaws. And that was another western I loved playing when I was younger. And I was trying to get it to work, but I could never get it to work through OBS. So I couldn't get uh, Gun to work. I couldn't get Outlaws to work. And the only way I could get Outlaws was through GOG. And I, I guess there's an issue with uh, GOG and uh, OBS. So I was having an issue with one or the other. But I was trying to get Outlaws to work. It kind of sucks because that's, that's a fun little FPS uh, game. And has a great score. The score for uh, Outlaws is fantastic. Uh, Call, Call of War Res, not so much. I've heard some people like Call... I guess, isn't there a, a few like Call of War Reses? I think there's a few of them, isn't there? Alright. GG's, Martin. Stellar J, what's up, Stellar J? How's it going? Alright, so the good news is we're going to get some XP, so that'll help us rank up. Me and uh, Belfast. So, we get a little bit of XP there. Yeah. I still don't get the cash payouts, because you, you don't have anything you can spend the cash on. I guess it's for bragging rights. It's like, hey, I earned this much money. See, Rain, I'm doing good. Uh, what about you? We're doing good. We're just playing... Uh, Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. See, Team Ads. See, I know that's what I love about Outlaws and Cheats DLC. Yeah. You get a variety of uh, different skins to pick from, including Red Dead Revolver. Uh, Martin. GG's, Martin. All right. So, by the way, anybody that wants to join us, uh, feel free to just go into casual games. You should be able to join Martin Belfast and me. We'll just give you guys a quick minute to jump in if any of you want to join us. But I've been really enjoying going back to Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. I just love PvP more in this game than Red Dead Online. Like we were talking about a moment ago, it, it's simpler, but I think the simplicity is what makes PvP more fun and enjoyable than all the BS we have to put up with in Red Dead Online. Plus the fact I've done everything in Red Dead Online. I've maxed out all the roles. I've, I've upgraded the camp fully. I've got all the legendary bounties, all the legendary animals I want. There's just there's nothing for veteran players to do anymore except for the same old crap, right? The freaking trade sale, our, our moonshine sale. And that's on Rockstar. That's on Rockstar, you know. It sucks, but it is what it is. is it, I think this is a three-way. Okay, so we're having a little three-way action. <laughs> that didn't sound right. All right, here we go. I got my deputy back. <laughs> I love the deputy. What are you pointing at? Alright, so there's Belf. Oh, we all have semi-auto pistols. Okay. I see, uh, Panos, you put Call of War as last on your westerns. Okay. But like I said, there's like there's like different ones, right? Damn it! I got. <laughs> and I love the standoffs. The standoffs are really cool. Like the showdown at the beginning of each of these matches. Sometimes it's a standoff. Sometimes it's a draw. But I love that aspect. It just makes it even more enjoyable. Damn it, Martin got me. Uh, Tokyo 10, say what's up, Tokyo 10? Hey, GB in chat. Hope everyone's having a good day. Hope you're having a good day as well. How am I? I just. Now, we're just grinding some uh, Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. Yeah, the Mexican standoff is really cool. Damn it. I got destroyed. <laughs> oh, I see. He's camping on a roof. I see how you are. I'll definitely get him some kills right there. Uh, where is he? Fuck, I gotta find this guy. Damn it, he got me again. He's on top of El Banco. The standoff is so amazing, Rocks. Yeah, I don't know why. Like, after all this time, you think they would have put uh, the standoffs into Red Dead Online, but they didn't. 
Yeah, there's like, yeah, you're right, Akeem. There's like three different ones. I love the fact that there's some viva variety. Alright. Alright. Alright, good job. See? We, Martin and I joined forces to take out a common enemy right there. And then Belfast murdered me. <laughs> we weren't gonna let him stay on that roof. It's like, uh-uh. You got enough kills off of us. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Selj. This mod would be fun in Red Dead Online. That's one thing I don't understand is like... They had, they had all these different modes that they, they built for Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. That they could have just copy pasted it over to Red Dead Online, but they, they chose not to. I don't think I've gotten a single fucking kill. I'm getting destroyed. So Tokyo Tent, nice. Uh, recently got Red Dead Redemption for like 10 bucks. Uh, Tokyo Tent, dude, totally. You can come play with us. If you want to. Right, I'll catch you with chat in a minute. Ah, I'm getting stomped. <laughs> oh, well. Let's see. Uh, Cold-Blooded. Like, why do you have such a long name, Cold-Blooded? You could just, you could just call yourself Cad Bane, you know, since you obviously have a Cad Bane thing. Alright. That was my kill, Belfast! How dare you! You stole my kill! Finally got a kill. Took me a quick minute. Damn it, I died again. Baseline says Rockstar screwed up badly if Red Dead Online. Too much BS. Yeah, keep it simple. Yeah, keep it simple, stupid. I mean, exactly. Damn it. Got me. See, I came on there play Call of War. Red. See, I've only played Call of War Red's Gunslinger. That was the fun one. Was that the FPS one? Or maybe they all were. <sighs> Shit. Uh, but, uh, for the record, cold-blooded. I, I think we're gonna be a ways off from ever getting, uh, like, the next console is gonna be a long ways away, for one thing. I mean, they're still trying to, uh, put out enough, uh, of the current consoles of PS5 and Xbox Series S and X, and their shortages. So, I, I think it's gonna be, I think we're gonna be stuck with PS5 and Xbox Series for a while. They may do, like, like, a PS5 Pro somewhere down the road, or... I don't know, an Xbox Series XX or some crap, or double X or triple X. <laughs> but especially with the shortages, I think that we're going to be stuck with the current these current consoles for for a few years. It may be like uh, what the PS3, uh, Xbox 360 era, where we had those consoles for a very, very long time. Damn it. He's just getting headshots. Crap. Yeah, I'm stuck. All right, now I'm not stuck. All right, see up here. Damn it, he got me. Rats. See, I already got. Oh, you retracted the comment. Okay. I hate whenever I'm reading a comment, then one of you retract your comment. I'm like, damn it! I was reading your comment. How rude of you. I don't care if you misspelled something. You have to own it. Own your misspellings. Own own your grammatical errors like I do. I make plenty of them. But yeah, I'm hoping that we have the PS5 and the Xbox Series for quite a while. My match is half over. I'm doing horrible. I, I function better on a team. Especially a team of a really good player. Like, is this dude cheating? Because I put a whole bunch of bullets in him. I don't like to accuse somebody of that. But I literally just put a whole bunch of bullets into this guy. Maybe it, maybe it injured him, but not to the point of death. But he is a, lo he is a low rank, though. You own up to nothing? Okay. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm kind of sussed about this one guy. What do y'all think? Because he's, he's like a green horn. He's like rank 11. Kind of suspicious of him. Maybe I'm just paranoid, you know, but, there, you know, there is hacking and there is issues in Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. I'm not going to lie about that. 
He's just getting these shots off too well, I think. Just a little too well. I could be wrong. Maybe he's just really good. You know, maybe he's just really, really good. If he is, I'd give him props for being really good. But uh, there is a, a, some degree of uh, hacking and modding and Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. It, it's a risk. It was a risk I'm fully aware of when it comes to playing Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. But, I mean, I mean, he's, he is getting killed. Okay, so if he was using uh, questionable methods, you know, then, well, he wouldn't be getting killed. So, you think it's a Smurf account? It could be based on it. could be. I'm glad to see more people playing, though. So that, that's all I want. I just want to see people actually playing. Even if I'm getting trashed, I don't care. As long as we're all having a good time. Alright, so I finally got a kill on him after, you know, 3,000 years of being destroyed by him. It's just nice to at least get one kill, even if the other person gets, like, 20 kills on me. At least I can say, hey, at least I got one kill! <laughs> <laughs> I never said I was any good at PvP. Most of you know that. But I'm having fun playing. Damn it, Dark Knight! No, that was Martin that got me. Okay. I think Martin stole Dark Knight's kill there. Alright, but let's keep going. But I hope you're all having a great weekend. Ah! No, I'm stuck. No, I couldn't get away. Same right, gangster. I misspell things all the time. Yeah. Imagine using questionable tactics in video games. Oh wait, it's Wars. Yeah, Warzone or GTA Online or Red Dead Online. Uh, yeah, yeah, Samurai. No, god damn it. This, this, there, finally got you. You're welcome, Samurai. <laughs> <laughs> I was using the wall to my advantage. <laughs> it's strats, yo. <laughs> right. No, damn it, he's getting revenge on me. What did I ever do to you, Samurai Gangster? <laughs> Look at this, we got more people playing. This is awesome. Adios, Fernandez. No, stop shooting at me. He's down. Oh, crap. I don't know why I've been just... Damn, I got the... He got his revenge kill, didn't he? Yeah. That's cool, though. We got, we got a whole bunch of people playing. Isn't that amazing, though, that even after a decade, like, people still love playing Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. That's what I find amazing about it. And like I said, if any of you want to join us, feel free and try. You're welcome to try and jump in. Just go to Red Dead Redemption Multiplayer and then jump into casual games and it might randomly put you into this game. Because I think there's still, like, uh, like spots available. I think. You could be wrong about that. Well, at least I, I took out that wagon. <laughs> that wagon had it coming. Damn it! I got destroyed there. Uh, Yuji Allo, many people go back to Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. Well, so I think some people like myself are. Like, Team has been focusing more on Red Dead RP, and, you know, that's, that's cool. And, you know, there's a lot more people doing Red Dead RP. And maybe I'll check it out, but then there's some of us that are just like, nah, we're just gonna go back to Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. He whizzed, but I killed him. <laughs> wow, GB, you're a poor sport. <laughs> I wasn't looking at your ass. Lies, fake news. You don't even have a hot ass anyways. <laughs> uh, yeah, Samurai, yeah, go ahead and stream. You can stream it on Twitch. That's fine, dude. If you want, uh, just post your your uh, channel, your uh, Twitch channel, and um, in the live chat if you want. Or if you're in Discord, just post it in Discord, and I'll I'll share it in the live chat. If anyone wants to go over to Twitch and watch you, from your point of view, of course. And uh, once the stream's over, 
Like, I'll, I'll include your Twitch channel, Samurai Gangster, if you want. Uh, by the way, uh, Belfast channel is already down in uh, the thing. Alright. Yeehaw! Alright, let me add... Uh, I'll go ahead and add you to the pulse there. There we go. <laughs> Love the taunts. You get a 50-50 crowd when it comes to red in a line of red did RP. Yeah. I just lost motivation to play red that online. I hate to say that. My my problem is obvious is the fact that it's it feels like Rockstar has abandoned Red Dead Online. I hope I'm wrong about that. Now some of you are like, don't give up on Red Dead Online, GB. Rockstar will continue updating it. And look, I, I hope you're right, Team Ed. I hope Rufus is right about that. I really do. Believe it or not, there, there are times where I, I don't mind being wrong. And this is one of those examples. Hey, Minky Minx. How you been, Minky? I hope you're doing well. Thank you for stopping by and dropping a like. We're just playing some Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. So your Twitch is uh, Gangster Boss. Okay, cool. Uh, I'll try and find it in a second. Prepare yeah. yourselves. In between rounds, I'll, I'll go look on Twitch for it. Now draw. Your gang took victory in the show. Yay! The miners win. We, we're doing that mining. Hey, a mining roll. There you go. Wouldn't that be cool? A mining roll. A prospecting roll. Any kind of role, Rockstar. Since it's been over a year since you added the last role. Alright, so they're going to be on the defensive here. Thank you, Erica. I'm sorry, but it just gets tiresome after a while of grinding the trade sales and moonshine sales. It gets old after a while. Even if you have friends to play it with, that's part of the problem is that eventually less and less people are playing. And I'm all about saving Red Dead Online. Y'all know that. But it just it becomes difficult when you clearly have less people playing. Now I'm switching to something a little bit more, a little bit more range. <laughs> Sinister, what's up, Sinister? How's it going? I hope you're doing good, along with everybody else. Erica currently playing Red Dead Redemption 2 story. Shame. The, the few spot Appaloosa isn't in online. Yeah, see, there's... Like I mentioned like months ago, like in a it was kinda like a desperate video, like update video, like just just trying to give Rockstar an idea just to put something into Reddit online when it comes to new content. Five dollar holler, thank you so much, Sinister, for the super chats. Very much appreciated. And uh, thank you, Martin, for the lead. <laughs> uh, super chats always greatly appreciated. Well, um, Baseline on says there's no point in Rockstar investing resources into a game that doesn't make money. All right, look. Red Dead Online could make them money. It's not going to make them anywhere near as much money as, say, GTA Online. But if Rockstar would have put more effort into Red Dead Online and was, had a better vision, then Red Dead Online would still be profitable enough and successful enough. But Rockstar is so focused on GTA Online because it makes most of the money. But there is an old saying about not putting all your eggs in one basket. And I thought that was their original vision, was to... I mean, they had to, they had to come in realizing that Red Dead Online was never going to be as big as GTA Online. But it still could have been big enough and successful enough and profitable enough to merit content and reasonable, good content. That Capitelli... Yeah, another reason why I like Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. No Capitelli. Seller J, the miners uh, from this game look straight out of the hills have eyes. Yeah, that's a creepy movie. No! Damn it, I died. Just drinking some coffee? What kind of coffee are you drinking, Sinister? Uh, Rain, I don't think it's because Rockstar's lazy. I think it's because Take Two has more of an influence over Rockstar now. At first, it wasn't as big of an influence, but I think over the years that influence has has kind of creeped and growed like a like a plague, a cancer, or mold or something. Alright. Damn it, I don't have my uh, sniper rifle. Now 
No! Die! Okay, good. He's, he's done. Hooray. Nobody's gotten a bag yet. Oh, shit. Damn, Martin got me. Yeah, there's no Harriet here either, which is even better. Uh, Jeremy, what's up, Jeremy? How's it going? See, I never had a chance to play uh, this one, our Red Dead Revolver. I don't have the internet. Oh, yeah, that's. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry you don't have the internet to play Red Dead Redemption multiplayer, Jeremy. Because, yeah, you do need internet in order to play Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. And you also need Xbox Live, and you also obviously need a copy of Red Dead Redemption, so. There's a few requirements. I think Rock, the, the issue is they're, they're so focused on making as much money off of GTA Online as possible. And I don't even think when it comes to live service, I, I don't even think Rockstar does as good of a job at live service content as other studios. Like, for example, I think Epic does a way better job. Like, even lesser studios uh, do a better job at live service content. I think that a big enough uh, studio like Rockstar could could be put, putting out more content for GTA Online. But for some reason, they just don't put as much effort, even for GTA Online. They, they used to put more effort because we used to get more updates. No, damn it, Martin. Stop killing me. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Yeah, bad internet is never good for an online game mode. <laughs> kind of need good internet in order to actually play a video game online. Based on says Rockstar Take Two Investors. Yeah, it's not just laziness, it's business. Well, this is my thing. I think that sometimes you make bad business decisions when you think that you're making good business decisions. And I think that. They didn't have the vision to realize that Red Dead Online could be profitable and successful in its own right. That's the issue. So I, I just think it's just bad decision making. I mean, no one's under any illusion that Red Dead Online would be bigger than, than GTA Online. That wasn't going to happen. But it, it could have been... It could have been big enough and successful enough and profitable enough to merit content on a regular basis. But but the issue is, like, how do you expect people to buy gold bars? Alright. I'll protect you. I shall protect you. Problem is we're a long ways. Damn it! Martin got me again. All right, good job, Belfast. Protect our bags. We need at least get one. I mean, we have an advantage here. We have a 2v1 advantage. I mean, a, like a 3v2 advantage. So you'd think we'd be able to at least get one bag. But the, the problem with this map in particular is that obviously uh, this is a pretty large size map for this mode. Because you have to go a, a long distance just to get a bag. And he left. Rage quitted. Okay. Like, this version in, uh, what was it, Armadillo is way, makes way more sense. It works better. It's not too small, yet not ridiculously large like this map. This map is huge. Like, for this particular mode. It's just a, I guess, an example of Sometimes you can make the map too big. Damn it, he got me. So basically what we have is a standoff at the moment between our two teams. Oh, and, and now they have the advantage. Damn it. Well, that sucks. They now have the advantage over us. So we did have the advantage. Now, oh, so he left again. I guess he didn't want to play this mode. All right. The bubble. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Hide, 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 hide. Hide, hide, hide. Damn it, he got me. Well, at least I, at least I weakened him enough. 
So that's good. Yeah, so it's basically just a standoff between our two teams. Belfast is getting better, though, so props to Belfast. You're getting better at this game. I mean, the match is almost over, so we might as well just call it a draw on this one. <laughs> if Rockstar may, but, you know, I, I seriously have got to stop reading chat while I'm trying to PvP. It doesn't go well. It doesn't go well for me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, nobody's capturing anybody's bags here. This map, this particular map is just too big for this mode. It's just too big. Just kind of keeping them back there. Got him. No, one, no one's getting freaking back. Ah, oh, shit. Damn it, he got me. Alright. Well, yeah, I think that story mode DLCs were always much beloved. Alright, next game scores twice. And now respawning. Okay. Alright, fall, fall back Belfast. Because it's, uh, whoever... Up to me, and <laughs> yeah, that—that's a great idea. We'll just—we'll just let GB do this. No, no problem. About to get. Oh, I see. I see how it is. Damn it! They got me. Frack. Ah oh, well. Head in one way or the other. Yeah, the problem with that map is just too large. Maybe if more people were playing, then it would go better, but... Yeah, you know. So you call Blooded, says, I'm surprised Rockstar has servers. Well, it's not Rockstar, it's Microsoft. And these are Microsoft servers. Uh, GG, Martin. What did what, what, what I do that for? But... Like, the mode is fine. It's just that this particular map is too large. Like, the Armadillo map would, would work. Okay, we're also, we're going to Armadillo next. Okay, cool. So, yeah, Armadillo is a good size map for these modes. But that, you need, like, for what we just did, mode-wise, uh, that map requires more players, clearly. It's just, it's hard to do that one without having some sort of standoff. It happens, though. But yeah, these are Microsoft. This is Microsoft servers. Microsoft is the reason why Red Dead Redemption multiplayer and GTA 4 multiplayer survive on Xbox One and Xbox Series. And I think also on the 360, I believe. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not too sure about that. But you can thank Microsoft for that. So thank you, Microsoft. Thank you, Daddy, Phil Spencer. Um, baseline, I think that would be a Sony thing, because I think Rockstar kind of gave over, like, Red Dead Redemption multiplayer and GTA 4 multiplayer to, uh, Microsoft for Xbox and, uh, for PlayStation. Obviously, the only way you could play, well, you can play the PlayStation Now, but PlayStation Now is not very good, even with really good internet. So, the last time you check your PSN, is okay, so PlayStation 3 still allows you to play. Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. Well, that's cool. That's good. So I guess they're still up. So, but I think it's a Sony thing. Like for PlayStation, it's, it's obviously Sony servers. For Xbox, it's Microsoft servers. Get ready. Now. Damn it! 
Martin wins. Martin's good at this. Alright. Yeah, but that that mode would be so cool if they actually included it in uh Red Dead Online. But there's a lot of stuff they should include in Red Dead Online that they never will. I guess Samurai Gangster wanna be John Marston. <laughs> Alright. You play with Fire Dragon 15 several times? Cool! Ah, oh, shit. Damn it. Martin got me again. Yeah, PlayStation 3 was free. But yeah, PS4 and PS5 are, are not free through the PlayStation Network. And Xbox Live hasn't been free ever, I don't think. Like, from 360 up to now Xbox Series. Damn it, that was my kill, Martin. I, God, he got me. He stole my kill, then he took my life. <laughs> Lame. All right, let me go up here. By the way, I hope, Martin, you're not stream. Please don't be stream sniping me. I'm, I'm hoping you're not. I'm hoping you're, you're playing uh, admirably. But, yeah. So hopefully you're just, you just have the live chat up and maybe you're just having the background and you're just listening to me. Which is totally fine, but just, I, I just ask that anyone playing with me be civil and I guess don't stream snipe. Besides, why would you stream snipe me? I'm not even good at PvP. <laughs> Alright. Damn it, I got stuck. Sweet. Got him. All right. I'm gonna go after Samurai Gangster. Uh, should you do another uh, stream of uh, the Fire Dragon? Uh, that's up to you, uh, Snake. I mean, that's your channel, dude. I really don't. I mean, unless people ask me for uh, uh, my tips and opinions about things, I. Yeah, you know, everyone has their own channel, and they, they do you. You do you, Snake, when it comes to your channel. The only reason why I was giving Yuji some some uh, uh, thoughts is because he's still working on setting up his thing. So, but eventually he's going to get his set up the way he wants it. And, you know, that's, that's the way it should be. Ah, damn it. Yep, now we all have to pay, baseline. We have to pay. Okay. Damn it. This free fall, like you're always like aiming for somebody, but then someone's usually aiming for you. It's kind of fun, yet also annoying when you're about to get a kill, and then someone else kills you. <laughs> it's like, damn it, just give me another second so I can kill the other guy. Got him. Okay. Get get down, deputy. Right. Right. Run him away. Get down. Oh, slide me on the board. Right. I'm on a streak. No, there goes my streak. It was a two, I had a two kill streak. Look at that. How about that? Epic, epic gameplay. <laughs> uh. right, so these don't open. Okay, I get to climb over these. Jet. No, 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 no. Hide, hide behind the hay bales. That'll save me. Because you all know hay bales can absorb bullets, right? Get out of here. Right, I got it. I got to heal. Alright, nice. 
go this way. Pardon me, chickens. Yeah, this map, this is a much better map for PvP. Oh. Damn it! <laughs> Frack. Yeah, Armadillo is a much better map for PvP than where we were at earlier. I think that was Casa Madraga, I think. If I mispronounce it, I do apologize. Alright. Go this way. Damn it! Got the drop on me. Oh my god. Peter Carbine, okay. Lame. No! No! Damn it! Uh, this is... Uh, yeah, Red Dead Redemption takes place after Red Dead Redemption 2, Rain. So yeah, Red Dead Redemption 2 was uh, 1899 to 1907. And Red Dead Redemption 1 was 1911 to 1914. So by that logic, you have to assume that Red Dead Redemption multiplayer is at the very least 1911. I, I don't think there's an official canon or our year that Red Dead Redemption multiplayer takes place, but we can assume that it was uh, 1911. So we'll just say 1911. See, why does Red Dead Redemption still look better than GTA 5? I, I don't know. Yeah, I really hope that the Milk Edition of GTA Online 5 does improve the game graphically, because it's really feeling dated. It just feel, it feels really, really dated. It just does. I, I got four hundred dollars. <laughs> Going down, Mr. Marston. Sweet job. Damn it. <laughs> Who are you, Buford Tannen, shooting me in the back like that? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> what are you, yeller? <laughs> Mad dog. Nobody calls me that. I hate that name. <laughs> manure. I hate manure. <laughs> Don't end some Back to the Future 3 references. <laughs> Alright, switch. Damn it, he got me. Frack. Frack a doodle do. Man, I hate it when they're all everyone's spaced out like this because you don't know who's com who's coming for you. All right. I got my pump action. That might be better for like close range. Come on. Switch guns, you idiot. Alright, there we go. That was kind of a, a weird way to have a gunfight, but I I'll take the I'll take it. There isn't much time left. Like I gotta get I gotta get kills where I can get them, okay? Damn it! Yeah, I'm glad we don't have to start over either. What's with this glitching? That was weird. Alright. This ammo. Oh, I got the, oh, I got the Le Mans. Nice. Got him! Alright. I'm in second place. How am I in second place? How is that a thing? Like, seriously, it's me we're talking about. I know Martin's like way ahead in first place, but how am I in second place? This does not make 
sense. <laughs> Looks like you're the loser. Oh, that's that's not nice. I, how dare you call me a loser? I got second place. Well, that wasn't very nice. But you know what they say about second place, right? I say, Dark Banner Wolf! Hey, Dark Banner Wolf! How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Try hard. <laughs> hmm. Thanks to the treasure hunt, you could uh, scrap the money together for your first Kayo. Nice. I just got tired of playing Kayo Perico Snake. It, it's similar to Trader Cells and Moonshine Cells. It's just after a while you get tired of doing it. You're just like, oh, this is boring. Meanwhile, and Tumbleweed. And another thing I like about Red Dead Redemption multiplayer over Red Dead Online is that Tumble, that uh, Armadillo is not Cholerville. Exactly. Second place is better than third to fourth place or last place. Martin's just really good, Belfast. I think that's the problem. Like, Martin's been obviously playing this game, uh, Red Dead Redemption multiplayer a while. And so he's, he's really, really good. <laughs> so props to uh, Martin. All right. Meanwhile, at the abandoned mansion... <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll do, okay, we'll do some co-op after this. We'll do one more. So we'll grab the bag and tumbleweed, and then I guess we'll attempt some co-op. See, Snake, good thing I have so many other games. Yeah. If you're not first, you're last. American wow. Army. America! Dutch's gang. It's Dutch's gang. You. That, that's about that me. I'm ready to go off to the Great War. Unless I die in tumbleweed. <laughs> ready for it. Huh? All right, here we go. Fill your Flawless victory. Like, why don't they have this in Red Dead Online? Why don't they have these freaking showdowns at the start of matches? These are so cool. I'm at my Winchester. Oh no, the chest is opened. I'm gonna go get the chest then. I'm stuck against the fence. No! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Did y'all see my body? It just slid after it was game ended. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. Alright. I gotta try and get the We'll see how this goes. They have taken the bag. Not sure you wanna go back to Los Santos? Well, I mean, since it's going to be free for PS5 players, I'm going to, I will, obviously I'll, I'll check it out on PS5. And it really depends on how much it's going to cost on Xbox. I'm, I'm guessing they're going to have like a discount to start off with. Your enemy has dropped the bag. My bag now, fool. My now. <laughs> No, give, give, give me back. No, my bag. No, 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 no. No, damn you, Martin. That was my bag. How dare you? All right. <laughs> the bag has been taken. Yeah, the showdowns are pretty good uh, baseline. Like why they why they didn't look at Red Dead Redemption multiplayer as the the template for Red Dead Online that surprises me to be honest. They have the bag. I think Samurai Gangster is distracting me so that Martin can get the bag back to base. Cause it milk edition gets the upgrade for free. Well, they are they are still technically milking it baseline because you know why they're doing it. They're doing, like, look at this shit. There's actual tumbleweeds. Look, there's actual tumbleweeds. Are there tumbleweeds? I don't think there's tumbleweeds in Red Dead Online. We actually have tumbleweeds in this game. In tumbleweed. Tumbleweeds in tumbleweed. Amazing. And Martin got me again. They have the bag. I get all excited about a freaking tumbleweed. 
<laughs> it's the little things. Alright, get back over here. Alright. Gotta win this one for the American army. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. They have taken the bag. They have got him. The bag. Nice. Come on. Run, 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 run. Get, get, get the damn bag. Get the bag, fool. You have taken the bag. No, 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 no. Don't shoot me. Careful. Damn it. You dropped the bag. That was great. <laughs> That didn't last long. <laughs> Frack. <laughs> this spawns me all the way over here. Like, it doesn't spawn me anywhere near them. It's totally bullshit. The bag has been taken. It spawns me all the way up at the mansion. I have to leg it all the way over here. And, yeah, they're spawning a lot closer to the bag. You never saw... Tum yeah, tumbleweed... Like, tumble... Tum like, not the town, but tumbleweeds... Yeah, I don't. I don't ever see tumbleweeds in. Uh, uh, I think they're gonna score again. Man, we're getting sweeped. It's not good. The bag has been I'm still killing you, <laughs> even if it is out of spite. Ooh! I got a challenge complete. Nice. How about them apples? Right. Get up. I feel special. The bag has arrived. Right. We get that bag. bag. We gotta at least get one bag delivered. I think Belfast is camping at the enemy thing. Damn it! He got both. Well, they they got a little double team right there. Damn it. Yeah, I got stuck. Yeah, it happens, though. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, we're, we're getting wrecked something fierce here. Oh, well. Belfast, that's what you get for having me on your team. Oof. <laughs> hey, that's bullshit. They get an extra player? And it's a legendary player that's ranking up their legendary. That's bullshit, game. Totally bullshit. Alright. Well, numbered, and there's, there's two legendaries on their team. Lame. Because Serenity Swift is obviously a legendary. Shenanigans. I'm calling shenanigans on this. Damn it. Holding back. I think that's like legendary one. I think that's what I'm aspiring to get. I'm aspiring to get legendary one. Come back here, Martin. Just running around the bar like that. Hopefully, get a, I get a few ranks closer today before it's all said and done. You lost the Duchess game. Well, no they shit. Your hide is worth uh, less than a Red Dead Redemption was made by predominantly Rockstar San Diego, whereas uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 was made by Rockstar Worldwide. Hey, Cobra joined us right at the end. <laughs> Well, guys, I was going to um, go and do co-op, but well, well, we'll sort it out. Maybe we'll go do some gang hideouts. That might be fun. Uh, Chuparosa. Hmm. I think we just. I think we did. We're gonna take a little break from the shootouts. We'll come back to them in a little bit. They are fun though. It's just a, it's nice to take a little break and just do other stuff. So, all right. So I'm going to go back to
Alright, I'm looking at something. I'm gonna return to free roam. Uh, but Martin says the best way to complete uh, hideouts uh, is, yeah, hideouts. Yeah, that's one of the main things I like to do, Martin. But after a while, just doing the hideouts alone, yeah, they do, it does get kind of boring, Martin. But we can do a, we can do a couple hideouts real quick. I do like the hideouts. It's just that if you do anything too much, it gets a little, well, tiresome after a while. But we'll go we'll go back and we'll do some more uh, PvP in a minute. This lobby might be too big though. There's, I think it's already maxed out. So, all right. So let me try and get into a smaller lobby. Then y'all can join on me if y'all want. All right. No, not friendly. It's just just regular. Yeah, let's do that. We don't like. I'm not going into the hardcore lobby. Screw that. But you know, go into a normal lobby. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. I know. I was about to leave Stellar J. Well, I was about to leave the the gun, the 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 pew pew pew. But we're gonna get into a new lobby, and then we'll try and get everybody into a new lobby. We'll, we'll sort out Stellar J. Just give me a quick minute. Uh, yeah, this one's still. Is it the same lobby? I think it's the same lobby. All right. I'll just keep jumping until I get us into a different lobby. Find a new lobby. Okay. I do appreciate everyone being here today. Yeah, it is pretty cool to see a full lobby. But in order to get everybody else into our lobby, we need to find a smaller lobby. So that's the problem. And you can only have so many people. Okay, this is better. All right. So if anyone wants to join on me in this lobby, that's cool. All right. So, so we got some room in this lobby. Like this, this thing here. This list is outdated. I guess just randomly lobby jump until you end up in my lobby. I guess that's the only way to really do it. Because we had trouble with this last weekend. I love them taunts. What rank am I? Uh, stats. Alright, that's not helping me. Uh, okay, I'm almost at rank 34. Um, I'm getting close to rank 34. So hopefully I can at least get rank 34 before the end of the stream. Yeah. Uh, you're rank 4? Well, I mean, there was a time when I was rank 4, Stellar J. You gotta start somewhere. Alright. Let me look. I'll drop you like a bad habit. Okay. Here you go, Belfast. If you want, if you want this horse, you can take this horse. But I think Martin's right. I think we'll do some gang hideouts. Yeah, just for a little bit of gang hideouts. Then we'll we'll do a bit more of the PvP. But there is co-op. I just gotta I gotta remember how to do the co-op modes. All right. So you can go ahead and jump on the Hungarian half breed if you want. I think he actually got a new horse. I think he upgraded high enough to get a new. Yeah, this is the Tarquin. The Tarquin is actually a decent horse. It's it's much better than the Nag or the El Senor. So, I guess Stellar J and anyone else, just keep lobby jumping until you uh, find your way into my lobby. And when you're in my lobby, I'll just add you. Alright. Until then, we're going to go do a gang hideout. I mean, there's hardly anybody in this lobby, so this is a good lobby to join. But my hope is that we eventually get to right, try not to go flying off the cliff. That would be a good idea. I'm hoping eventually that this series at least leads me to one legendary status. We're still a ways off because I'm almost at rank 34. I'm only really grinding this on stream. Part of the fun. Yeah, worst case, Stellar J, I'll, I'll jump back into another game, casual game, and then you can just join on me there. I should have sent you a posse invite. I'm sorry about that, Stellar J. I'm also, I, I did send a Samurai Gangster still, uh, an invite. But, yeah, if you guys want to try and lobby jump into your in my lobby, just let me know. I'll keep an eye out for y'all. Alright, this is a dead end. We gotta go around. Take the long way around.
It is unfortunate how much of a waste, uh, let's see, Nuevo Paraiso is in Red Dead Online. It's just, I mean, it's there, but it's like very, very hardly anything there, except for like the skeleton of El Presidio. I'll still roam around there from time to time when I'm just playing Red Dead Online and I'm really bored. But I'd rather actually have something to do in a game. And there's there's only so many times that I'm willing to explore outside the map. And after a while, you get even that starts to get a little boring. The White Sand, this location is nice. Yeah, there's definitely there's definitely nice parts about Nuevo Paraiso. Come on, Galaxy Traveler. No, 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 don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. And I think we're, we're attempting to get up here to this gang hideout in a very dumb way. I don't know what we're trying to do here, but it's... Okay, we made it. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, well. Hey, I got up here. That's what counts, is I finally got up here. Shut! They're gonna kill me. Yep, and they destroy me. I got destroyed. Did I just get the bolt action? I think I just unlocked the bolt action. Or did I have it all along? I think I may have just finally got the bolt action. Maybe. Keep going. Dead. Right. I don't want to shoot her. That's mean. Headshot, headshot. Ah, I got destroyed. Are you in my session? Okay, cool. Uh, let's see if I can add you. There you go. You got about as much chance as a one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest. <laughs> I love the taunts. The taunts are the best. Plus, what's really cool about Red Dead Redemption multiplayer is you end up unlocking so many different character options that you, you can at least find one character uh, that you may want to use for your Red Dead Redemption multiplayer character. I know some people want to want to just play Mars John Marston, or somebody else from Red Dead Redemption or Red Dead Revolver. But I like I like some of the other characters as well, like this deputy. This deputy's freaking awesome. And once you find a character to play as, you you kind of stick with them, even if you end up unlocking other characters. Unless you end up unlocking a character you really, really like down the road. It, it just gives you incentive to, like, want to keep playing. Because there's stuff... Oh, oh, what did I shoot her for? That was mean. I got I got credit for it, though. Damn it, I got murdered. Uh, Tokyo Tent, what can you do? What, what, GB, what can you do in Red Dead Redemption Multiplayer? Uh, you can do these gang hideouts, which help you earn XP like Martin was talking about a moment ago. And it's definitely one of the ways I've earned XP over the years is playing the gang hideouts, but there's also like the casual modes. Like, there's different modes, but I, I like the casual, like, uh, PvP modes. Nice. Very nice. Rank me up considerably. But as you rank up the as you rank up you unlock uh, guns, you unlock oh uh, we have a someone nearby. Okay. Okay. Jerk. <laughs> and you can also gun down other players. That's something else you can do. Well yeah, you unlock mounts, you unlock characters, you unlock titles. So there's quite a few things you can unlock. 
Got him. Call my horse. Horsey. No. Oh. He's not attacking me yet. Okay. Was he going after the other dude? <laughs> like, you guys can have that freaking. You can have it if you want. We don't want it. <laughs> We've been there, done that, got the t shirt. Yeah, it still looks pretty good. What do y'all think? I still think this game looks amazing. I mean, graphically, yes. You have uh, you have Red Dead Redemption 2 looks even better, but yeah, they're just gonna go at it real quick. There, there. All right. So I guess what we'll do is we'll go to a different gang hideout. We'll let them fight over that. They're welcome to keep it if they want. I don't care. There are other gang hideouts we can take out. Yeah, Antonio, if you want to keep fighting that one, dude, go ahead. We'll stay out of it. <laughs> I don't care. My focus here is to earn XP. So, you get a little XP for uh, fighting other players, but you don't get as much XP. Damn, I got destroyed. The stranger got me. Damn, not the stranger. Uh oh. Coming out of the way. Like, this this part of the map is becoming very popular for some reason. There's like a whole bunch of players over here. Like, what's up with that? <laughs> Martin's here, okay. Fucking die. Yeah, let me add you real quick. Set passage. There you go. Come on in, Martin. Yeah, I don't know why why this area all of a sudden became popular. We're in the middle, literally in the middle of nowhere in Mexico. But okay. Okay. I love the high-powered pistol. And it is historically accurate because, well, the game takes place in 1911, so, eh. Headshot. Noise. Sam is epic, like, shootout right now. Come on. No. Move it, move it. Ah, fuck you! I, I got burnt. I'm getting burnt. No, I'm gonna die. I got burnt. No. All right. All right. Good job, guys. Good job. All right. I got rank 34 now. Sweet. Eventually, I'll get to rank 50. One of these days, it's gonna be probably a few episodes. Especially at, at this rate. Like, we, we ranked up last week. And this week we're grinding even more than we were last week. So, I guess if I was able to at least get up to, like, two ranks of stream, I guess that would be a good thing. Galaxy Traveler, get back over here. Come here. Alright. Alright. So, is there anyone else in the lobby that we want to add? Oh, yeah. Let me... Get there, Samurai in. Right. There's uh, the Rando over there, Mr. Mr. PVP. He's just looking for some of that, that sweet PVP. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> you want a PVP, buddy? Okay. <laughs> By the way, I, I really don't mind PvPing in Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. Especially since, as we talked about earlier, it doesn't have all the bullshit that Red Dead Online has. 
Hey, one love. How's it going? How you been? Long time no CGB. Hope you all been healthy. Oh, we're doing all right. We're just playing Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. It's a series I officially kicked off last weekend, since there's just not much going on in Red Dead Online, unfortunately. So we decided to go back to Red Dead Redemption multiplayer and do what I'm calling the Road to Legendary series, because I never achieved legendary status, even though I've been playing, oh, casually been playing Red Dead Redemption multiplayer since the launch over a decade ago. All the way back from the, the 360. See, Rob says this should be nice if it was in Red Dead Online. Yeah, these gang hideouts are really good. And the gang hideouts in Red Dead Online are okay, too. It's, oh, Nike Armor wants them to. Okay. Hold on. There you go. All right, got you in. All right. I'm just checking to see if anyone else. Okay, we got one, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah. All right, so let's go find another gang hideout. Plus, you get, like the posse you form in, in this game, I think you have up to eight people in your posse. Whereas in uh, like the persistent posse is seven in Red Dead Online. No ability cards, no E rounds, way better PvP than Red Dead Online. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's no freaking There's none of that nonsense. No ability cards, no tonics, no explosive incendiary rounds, which is bullshit. It's just straight up PvP. It's a lot simpler, but I like simplicity. There's nothing wrong with simplicity sometimes. More fun can be can be found when it comes to modes like this. Plus, you know, you got you got PvP and PvE in Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. You got a little bit of both. Plus, it is actually, it has, it's actually a bit more challenging in my opinion. A player wants to be part of your posse. All right, someone else wants in. All right, it's first come, first serve, by the way. There we go. And I died. You've been okay just dealing with life? Yeah, life can be like that. I mean, I understand. But hopefully things will get better for you, one love. Well, hopefully things are at least going okay. But, you know, life has its ups and downs. All right, good job, guys. I guess we'll just ride around the map, just getting, just taking out hideout. So, like, I guess after this, we'll just venture over to America. Got him. Nice. Not bad, not bad. All right, the reinforcements coming in. All right, here they come, here they come. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> ah, that was funny. Okay, so there's another enemy over here, okay. All right. Where are they? Yeah, we gotta be careful not to spawn too far away from... We don't want to venture too far away from this spot because it'll cancel it out. Obviously, we don't want to do that. Poor Wolfie. All right, nice. Good job, guys. Yeah, Stellar J. He's just roaming around, just murdering people. I mean, but that's that's the fun part about an online game. Is if you want to, if you want to roam around being a black hat and killing everybody you see, that's. And if that's the way that they want to be, then that's fine. I mean. At least, he, at least he doesn't have the luxury of, of using all that bullshit that you have in, uh, yeah, in the other game. Alright. Why don't you shoot my friend? Damn it. And he shot me. <laughs> I, I tell him not to shoot me yet. Not to shoot my friend yet, he shoots me. Oh, well. <laughs> Far superior PvP. Exactly, exactly, Max. It's just, it's more fun. Is it simpler? Yeah, but there's nothing wrong with simplicity. It's just that Rockstar decided they want to have all these stupid ammo types and ability cards and and Deadeye. And I've, ne I've never liked the idea of having Deadeye and Red Dead Online. 
I've always been against it. And I feel I think that some people rely too heavily on Deadeye. Even for like I've noticed even during like PvE modes, like in Land of Opportunities or Life is Shine, or like gang hideouts or survivals, that there are players that just like use Deadeye over and over and over again. They just can't stop using Deadeye. It's okay to use Deadeye in a clutch situation. But it'll just be constantly relying on Deadeye for every single encounter, whether it's PvP or even PvE, is ridiculous. I rarely use uh, Deadeye. Like, I got to the point where I would use Deadeye against legendary animals. But for the most part, I, I, just, I just don't really care to use Deadeye in online. Like, in story mode, it's kind of cool, especially when you get it ranked up throughout the story of Red Dead Redemption and Red Dead Redemption 2. But for the most part, I'd, I'd just rather not use it. But that's just how I play. Alright, so we need to find a bridge to get... Okay, there's a bridge. Alright, we're gonna head to America, boys. Make, make sure you have your, your fake passports ready. Oh, wait. I, I guess we can take this one out again before we go to America. It's XP. We'll take it. Going back to America. I guess he's following us. Okay. Oh, he blew up. Good job. What fucking gun am I using? I had a bolt action. Ow. Oh, he destroyed me. Okay, you want to join me? What the fuck? <laughs> Douchebag. <laughs> Well, it wouldn't be an online game without somebody like that, would it? Of course. <laughs> oh, well. Don't really bother me, to be honest with me. Once we're no longer distracted, we can focus our attention on him. He keeps blowing himself up, too. Like, we're not even focused on you, moron. See, Andre, what's up, Andre? How's it going? And uh, DeForest Smith, what's up, DeForest? How you doing today? We're playing some Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. Yeah, screw you. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, as long as I keep him distracted enough to where everyone else can kill him. Right. There we go. <laughs> That's fine. We get we get a little XP from this too. It's fine. All right. All right. You're heavily outnumbered, but that's okay. Fine. Hey, I gotta gotta appreciate the guy, right? I gotta appreciate him for for being willing to fight us. Seven so uh, master dead eye. Yeah, I'm not as good at dead eye, but I don't. I personally don't prefer. I prefer not using it. Damn it! He has a good shot. I will, I will give him that. He's a good shot. Hey, hey! Come back here. Where'd he go? <laughs> he's got one of the bulls as a mount. So he's obviously a legend. I think he's like a maxed out legendary too. Like he's, I guess he's leaving or else he's trying to get some high ground. I guess. I don't know. Anyways. I don't know where he went. Yeah, I think, he's, I think he has all five ranks. So yeah, obviously he's been playing the game for a quick minute. One day, I aspire to at least get uh, one legendary badge. One day. Alright, so I guess we'll go to America. And if he, if he attacks as he attacks us, it's not really a big deal to me. Alright. Alright, 
Where is uh, America? All right. Well, if y'all can try to get to America. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't want us to go to America. He doesn't want us to leave Nuevo Paraiso. He's like, if, if you, you won't leave, you'll stay here with me forever and ever. See, Red Dead Redemption multiplayer is better than Red Dead Online and GTA Online combined. There's things, obviously, I like about Red Dead Online and GTA Online, but Red Dead Redemption multiplayer was pretty awesome. It still is pretty awesome, because fortunately, if you have Xbox, you're still able to play. Uh, you're still able to play this mode. Fortunately, thanks to Microsoft. Alright. Horse is low on stamp. See, the problem is, trying to go that way... Uh, let's see. Where's the bridge at? See, there's another player over there. I don't know. I think they might be in the same posse. So, they're two, like... Like, top level... Like, I guess, level... Legendary fives, I guess? I think they're legendary fives because they have the federal agent badge. All right, so here's a bridge. Let's just take the bridge, if y'all are able to. If not, just I guess just fast travel somewhere. I'm sure they'll follow us, but oh well. Well, we'll PVP them while we gang hide out. We can do both. It's not a big deal. All right, not you idiot. <laughs> GB, you moron! <laughs> all right, all right. Let's let's try this again, shall we? All right, come on, guys. Uh, just come up this way. We'll go across the bridge. <laughs> Is he seriously blowing himself up like people do in GTA Online? Like seriously, are are you just doing that? Like the tryhards in GTA Online with the sticky bombs? Like why do y'all do that? There's not even there's not even KD in this game. So silly, but whatever. All right. So meanwhile, across the river, uh, OG Cobra's mule died. Sorry, Stellar J. Ripperonis. All right. So I'm gonna go to the nearest uh, gang hideout and start it. Start working on that. Let me look at the map real quick. Uh, is this the nearest? Okay, yeah, I'm going to the nearest one. The problem is it's like right by the river, so. Uh, Mr. Rando, PvP superstar, might get a chance to get some sweet snipes out of us. We'll see. I think there's a scratching post over here. Yeah, it's scratching post. Investigate scratching post. All right. All right. But how's everybody doing this weekend? What's everybody up to this week? Anything fun? Anything exciting? All right, here they go. Here come the miners. Ooh, I got the mouse now. Nice. This is the thing, I don't care about this. No matter to me. It's just cool to see people actually playing Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. Everybody in the posse gets credit for this, or is it just uh, anyone over here in close proximity? 
Maybe this close proximity. Yeah, I don't know for sure. Hey, if everyone gets credit for it in the posse, then good good for everyone else in the posse. Hey, they're they're dealing with the, the PvP nonsense. And you know, we're just doing this. <laughs> Claim your prize. Yeah, he keeps blowing himself up. Like, was he just tired of playing GT Online, so he came over to Red Dead Online? <laughs> or was he originally from uh, Red Dead Redemption multiplayer? Did I say Red Dead Online? Oops, my bad. I didn't mean to insult Red Dead Redemption multiplayer like that. Right, that's that's Mexico right there. Okay, so I guess we'll go up to Gaff Tooth. Okay, we'll do that. Alright, so we're gonna go to Gaptooth, guys. I do appreciate everyone that's here. But we will continue our Red Dead Redemption multiplayer Road to Legendary series on Sundays, 12 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. UK, where we will uh, venture around the map doing gang hideouts. We'll do the casual PvP mode. We'll, we'll get into uh, little squabbles with other players. Another nonsense will ensue. And one thing I was wanting to do when we were over in Mexico by El Presidio, I was, I was wanting to go and, and fight some bobcats, but I got distracted. Because, yes, there's actually bobcats in this game. And the bobcats are, are mean. They're mean little monsters. All right. So there's that. There are legendary animals and waves of, like, enemy, like, coo like just waves of cougars. Up at, uh, see, uh, Tanner Ranch, or the Tanner Cabin. Okay. Jet, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Met a watery fate. You guys, he tried to go in the water. Or maybe he went in there by accident. Damn it, they got me. Oh yeah, yeah, we need to you know what you're right, Erica. We should do Undead Overrun. We may do that. But I think we're limited to how many people can do undead. I think it's only four players that can do Undead Overrun though. But you're you're right about that. I thought about that last week. But yeah, Undead Overrun's pretty fun. And that's that's something we've been wanting in this in this mode forever. So I think we have to go down here and get the cart. A player has become most wanted. He's dead. Let's keep going. Sorry. Damn it, I got murdered. I got gunned down. Yeah, it's four players, man, so I thought so. Alright. And then it spawns you all the way out here. Well, Martin, I hope you're at least having fun. Well, Martin does like PvP. I think I've learned that about Martin. Well, since we were playing uh, the casual PvP earlier. Push in. Oh, so there, I got the card. Okay, cool. All right, let's go. Right, we got enemies. going I 
shit. Got him. Up we go. Yeah, these are fun. Let's keep her going. Right, more enemies are showing up. Attack the cart. Shut. Shut. Got me. Ah, oh, damn it! I got wrecked. <laughs> Mickey Brunson. Yeah. All right. Let's keep going. Damn it! Spawn me all the way down here. Well, as long as we get up here. Up, up, up. Yeah, I guess Samurai Gangster decided to stay in Mexico and do gang hideouts over there. Alright, All right, good job, guys. Yeah, I got a little bit of XP for that one. Nice. Good job, everybody. Alright. So I guess we'll move on to the next one, which is... Yeah, we got one, like, right north of us, too. We can go up to that one. Alright. Okay. Off we go. Alright, so the next one's over here. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to reach 35 today. Probably not. I mean, we might. I think we're going to make some... We'll make some nice headway with the XP, but I don't expect to reach uh, 35. Why am I using a shotgun at that distance? That's dumb. Them. Get flanked. And now now reinforcements are coming in. Yeah, that's fun. I agree, Sailor J. It is a lot of fun. I enjoy it. I, I'm hoping everyone else is... Obviously, everyone else is enjoying it. For everyone else that's playing. Alright. I guess I'll come protect this part. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all I needed was one bullet. That's all I needed. You ain't got enough bullets. Well, all I needed apparently was one, asshole. <laughs> oh, oh, you want to eat something? Okay. Hey. All right, so we got bosses now. Oh, oh they're sniping us. Okay. Got it. Good job, guys. Good job. You've scored three thousand points. Uh, we can we'll, we'll do the zombie mode thing, but right now we got more than four players in the posse, and I don't want to kick anybody out of the posse. Well, we may we may do that for the end of the stream, Erica. We may just do that near the end of the stream. Is just go try out Undead Overrun. But I really wish that we did have something similar to Undead Overrun in uh, Red Dead Online. I mean, that's one of many, many suggestions we have given Rockstar. But whatever, Rockstar. Oof. Thanks for uh, your consideration not running me over. <laughs> All right. 
Keep her going. Alright, so coming up this week on the channel, I don't really know what's coming up because we're still doing the February 2022 uh, monthly event. So I guess Tuesday I'll update the description section of my monthly video and then I'll let everybody know in the community tab and Facebook and Twitter, Discord, what's what's going on with the this upcoming monthly event, I guess. So there's that. All right. Oh, we got to go after cougars. Oh, this will be fun. All right, we're going cougar hunting. Uh, well, we, oh, we do have, I mean, we do have call to arms, but what I, what I meant, Erica, was we don't have an undead, undead overrun version of call to arms. And you know how much I like call to arms. It just sucks that we don't have, see, you have the right idea, partner. Like, why be on the ground with the cougars when we can just murder them from the safety Your of a roof? Has the highest score. Martin, about going to eat. Had a lot of fun playing with you. Thanks for staying, hanging out with us, Martin. I hope you had fun with uh, the, the rando. <laughs> but thanks for playing with us. And we're going to be back every uh, Sunday going forward. For the time being, on, on Sundays. Okay, there's, there's a cougar. No, oh, I'm, I'm Cougar Bay. I'm going to stay down here. It's more fun down here. I like to live dangerously. All right, Demi's the legendary Cougar over here, so we got to take her out. And not for dinner and drinks. She's not that kind of Cougar, everybody. There you are. No, no, no. Bad, bad Demi. Bad Demi. Oh, got wrecked. I got destroyed by them cougars. No, no, no! <laughs> like, like the cougars in this game do not fuck around. They can one-shot you with relative ease, and there's so many of them. Like there's there's tons of them that come after you. Was that it? Um, I think that might have been it. Okay, there we go. Right. It's not much XP, but we got some. All right, we'll keep going. All right, Let's see who's all left in the posse. So there's currently uh, five of us. Okay. All right, so maybe in a little bit we'll try undead overrun. But like I said, I don't really, I don't really have it in my heart to kick anybody out of the posse. I'll just wait till somebody else leaves, I guess. But we'll, we'll just keep grinding the hideouts for the moment. But then we'll, we'll go do one of the undead overruns. Alright, so we'll go by the map. Transport. Uh, let's see. I guess, twin, I guess Twin Rocks is the next one. Alright, so I guess we'll go to Twin Rocks. Let's do that. But, I mean, there might be a video later this week. My, you never know. I do try to put at least one like thoughts video, ideas video, or rant video a week. But this week it's kind of laid back. Oh, uh, by the way, I, did, I forgot to mention this yesterday during the bully stream. Uh, when it comes to the GTA Online weekly events, I'm taking a hiatus from those until we get some like major news update, uh, GTA 5 Online Milk Edition info, and uh, title updates. Uh, Stellar J, you don't have to stand down just yet. Well, we could do a few more of these. It's no worries, Stellar J. Yeah, well, oh, I, okay, well, I guess uh, he just, he's like, okay, he bounced. Alright, so. Alright, so where is Undead? Alright, so we're going to do Undead Ro Overrun. Uh, sorry, not sorry, Samurai Gangster, we're going into Undead Overrun. <laughs> But they seriously should add these to Red Dead Online. Seriously, Rockstar. Like, why haven't you done that for Halloween? Alright. Where's my map? Alright, so... We're waiting for two more to be added. Alright. Well, it's just me. I feel... I feel... Alone. So terribly alone. I guess no one else wants to do Undead Overrun. Or maybe the problem is other people can't do Undead Overrun. I wonder if that's the case. Gutless 
Am I the only one that can do Undead Overrun? Because maybe I'm the only one that has the ability to do Undead Overrun. Because everybody else left me. They left me. They left me. Alright. So, what do I want? Medium range killer. Bolt action. Double barrel. Mm. Dynamite? Nah. Which one do I want? Well, I guess I'm going alone. No hard feelings? Okay. Where's my map? Oh. Uh, Aim range. Uh, I guess I go with this one. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess it's just me. Okay. I'm gonna go it alone, I suppose. That kind of kind of sad. I feel so lonely now. Only be surrounded by zombies. Yeah. So I don't know what the deal is. I don't know where everybody... Like, I, I invite everybody else in, but maybe they're not able to join me. Because, see, not everybody has, like, the same, like, uh, updates. Need at least one or two other people. Yeah. And that's that's the problem. And this is going to make it difficult to add people. Well, that sucks. Think you some hard case, do you? The game lagged you out. Okay, I'll, I'll just back out then. I'll back out. All right, we'll try it again. We'll try it again. In fact, I'm going to do a quick intermission, I guess. I'm going to do a really quick intermission. A little chair hype for you. A little quality chair time for all of you that are here. And then we'll, we'll try it again. So if anyone else wants to, I should have asked. I guess that's my fault. I should have asked Samurai Gangster, Belfast, if they wanted to partake in, in this. There's lots of people here. I'm going to jump to a different lobby. See, uh, Samurai. Do you, do you, are you, do you want to do it? You want to do some Undead Overrun? If you do, I'll, I'll just wait for you guys to rejoin me. Oh, you don't have it. Okay, okay. Yeah, see, that's part of the problem. See, some people don't actually have it. Which, I think by now it would be just available for everybody. Because, like, there's certain things that, that not everybody has access to when it comes to uh, Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. So I'm sorry about that, Samurai Gangster, but I'm going to post your uh, Twitch account below in my uh, description section of this stream. So I will do that once it's a video. In fact, uh, uh, Samurai Gangster, could you repost your uh, Twitter account? I mean, your Twitch account? I don't know why I do that. All right. I don't think this lobby's as big. Yeah, it's kind of a small lobby. Let me look on the map where everybody is. Uh, there's currently nobody here. Alright. I guess I'll just hang out at Ridgewood for the time being. Uh, you can try to rejoin. Sure, go ahead. I I'm going to stay in Ridgewood. I'll just, I'll just chill over here. If somebody murders me while I'm gone, that's fine. I decide I hide in here. But I hope y'all are enjoying the stream so far. And... Uh, all right, let me just do this real quick. There. Be right back.
All right, we are back. After a really quick intermission, plus I wanted to go grab uh, Samurai Gangster's Twitch account. So if you're on Twitch, you can go say howdy to Samurai Gangster. See how he's doing. All right, uh, Susan. Anyone else make it into the lobby? Uh, not yet. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, that is uh, Samurai Gangster's uh, Twitch account, Gangster Boss Twenty Three. By the way, I do have a Twitch account, so so I'll I will say howdy. We'll say howdy. See. Boom. I left you a howdy, Gangster Boss. <laughs> okay. All right. So Stellar J's here. Okay. So we're. I guess uh, like uh, Sam might just uh, keep lobby jumping. We'll go do something else since you can't do un since you can't do undead overrun. All right. Well, yeah, we'll do something else. But I I really wish at this point they would just allow everybody. Okay, Belfast is back. Let me get him to the pause here as well. I mean, worst case, we'll just go and do uh, some more, like, uh, casual games. You found me! You finally found me! Congratulations. You found me, Stellar J. <laughs> Alright. All right. So, at the very least, we can just keep doing gang hideouts. I know it's a little repetitive, but it does get you the XP. Uh, you forgot to start a posse. It's, uh, it's pretty easy. Just use, um, like, that button. See? You do that, and then you go over to, to like, a player. And then all you gotta do is propose. Just uh, push green, select. And then some options will come up, see? And then with a player, just propose, propose a new posse. Or invite a person to your posse. That's all you gotta do. It's, once you get the hang of it, it's actually a lot easier than the way it is in uh, Red Dead Online. All right, so I guess we'll head. I guess we're gonna head to Twin Rocks. You're gonna upgrade, yeah. Uh, go uh, if you got an upgrade, go for it, dude. Hey, you can just go to Outfitters and do that real quick. I mean, if you got the nag, you might as well grab the nag because it's a. Unless you, dude, if you want, you can have the Hungarian half breed. Hold on. Uh, Stellar J, Stellar J. Uh, you don't have to go to Outfitters right now. Unless you already went to Outfitters. Because I, I can give you my horse, and I can spawn in another horse for me. Alright. Alright, so Stellar J, uh, I'm going to jump off this horse, and you jump on it, okay? So, there you go. Oh, you got an upgrade from LC. Oh, yeah, you upgraded to the Nag, okay. Alright, so if you want to use the the Hungarian half-breed, you can. Like, the Turkman is a pretty good horse, so that's a decent horse that Belfast now has. But uh, if either one of you also want a Hungarian half bridge, just go ahead and hop on. There you go. I mean, it's temporary, but it, it's better than the nag. <laughs> I find it easier to swap from freedom to casual games. Yeah. It's just the, the friends list is kind of messed up at the moment. All right. So that's a little bit better than a nag, but the Turkmen's decent, but a Belfast, if you want me to get you a Hungarian half breed as well, I can. But I, th I think he's happy with the Turkmen. Alright, so we'll go to Twin Rocks now. Alright, let's head over to Twin Rocks. I'll keep an eye out for Samurai. Uh, you're welcome, Stellar J. But like I said, it's only temporary. It's not permanent. You have to reach I think I got it last week when I reached rank 34 so once you reach rank 34 you'll get the Hungarian half-breed but before that you get the the Cleveland Bay and then before that the Turkmen and the the Turkmen actually is pretty decent it's a good horse it's way better than the El Senor and the the nag so those are definitely two better horses I'm just gonna keep an eye out for uh, so far, Samurai hasn't joined us. I mean, Samurai may be doing his own thing at the moment. Which is fine. Right. Uh, 
All right, so we're going over to Twin Rocks. And uh, Team Mad was talking about this earlier, the fact that Twin Rocks actually exists in Red Dead Revolver as well as Red Dead Redemption 1 and 2. And that, that's always, that's led me to believe that Red Dead Revolver actually exists in the Red Dead universe. And without Red Dead Revolver, we wouldn't have uh, Red Dead Redemption or Red Dead Redemption 2. So, in my opinion, Red Dead Revolver exists. And, and I think it deserves to exist. That's just how I feel about it. Plus, it, it's, it's in its own timeline. It's... Like, most of the game takes place in the 80, in like 1880, so I, I think it's, it's totally fine for it to be, to exist. And for the characters established in Red Dead Revolver to still exist in Red Dead Redemption. Like, in, in, like there's campfire talk about Red Harlow and Jack Swift and the others. So, I feel like that Red Dead Revolver is real. I know that didn't make sense. I was having a brain fart. <laughs> I hate that. Yeah, but the point I was trying to make is that some people say that Red Dead Revolver is its own thing, but I'm of the opinion that that it's part of the Red Dead universe as well. And that the Red Dead universe is big enough to where you could where Red Dead Revolver could exist as well. Even though Red Dead Revolver can get a, it is at times a little bit sillier. Than uh, Red Dead Redemption 1 or 2. It is a little sillier. But still. Life is silly. Got him. Headshots. Nice. Yeah, it's going to be a while since I reach uh, rank 35. I mean, the good thing is when you're low rank, you rank up faster, just like with any other online multiplayer game. But as you rank up higher and higher, it, it takes a while to rank up. That's just the formula it's been for the longest time. All right, let me go and uh, grab this real quick. All right. Yeah, I'm going to throw my weapons. Nice. So Belfast, what do you think of that Turkman? Do you like it? Alright, here you go. Just chill here for a moment. Then I'll call in another horsey. Alright. And once again, Belfast channels uh, link below in the description section. And I'm also going to include Samurai Gangster's uh, Twitch account. His Twitch channel. If y'all want to just check them out. I guess we'll move on to the next gang hideout. Get the map real quick. So we just did Twin Rocks. I guess we can go to... Um, got someone hiding. Got a few players over here. Um, Alright, so I guess we'll go to Pike's Basin. Oh, watch out, there's other players. <laughs> Those other players might be coming over to have a little fun with us. Their own kind of fun. I mean, they're, they're low ranked, but still. You never know. Like, just because they look like they're low ranked doesn't mean they actually are. They could just be... Uh, I think once you're a legendary, you have the legendary badge automatically on top of your character. So. Alright, so we're going to go to Pike's Basin. We'll do that one as well. That, that's a pretty good... Uh, yeah, that one's pretty good. When it comes to the hideouts. All right, let's see. Where's the entrance to Pike's Basin? I think it adds this one. Yeah, so we're gonna go straight through Pike's Basin. I'll wait for y'all to catch up. Make sure I got my LUD up where I want it. Bolt action, semi. Mauser. All right, I got a decent loadout. 
All right, guys, let's go. Yeah, so yeah, once again with the channel this week, I'm gonna try and at least have about one video this week, besides anything else that may come out news-wise. I'm hoping that we're gonna be getting a title update for the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition soon. That's the rumor, is that we're finally getting a title, another title update. It's long overdue. And hopefully the title update actually fixes a lot of the remaining issues in GTA 3 Vice City and uh, San Andreas Defense Edition. I'll definitely cover that, obviously. Shit. Why, why do I just... Moron! Just get, get behind the rock, if you don't mind. Fine. Whatever. Let me, before I set out the explosion, I'm going to collect this ammo. Yeah, the, the Tarkman's a good horse. And it's it's spelled differently than the Tarkman's in, uh, G, in Red Dead Online. It's uh, Turkmen. It might be related to the Tarkman's of Red Dead Online. But compared to the El Senor and the Nag, it's a, it's a way better mount. Right, run! Well, that, that was an explosion. Oh. <laughs> he fell to his death. Nice. I don't know why, but I find it satisfying in video games when NPCs do that. I don't know why. I know it's maybe a morbid sense of humor I have. Oh, and my cat snuck in here. That That's great. Awesome. Well, I hate to break it to you, kitty cat, but we're still playing, so you can stay here, but I'm not feeding you until I'm done. Right. I got this reinforcements. There we go. Here's a few more. Got him. Nice. Right. So yeah, this one, this part cleared out. Yeah, the Targwin's the first really decent horse you get in Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. The other ones, the El Senor and the Nag, are not as good. Right. Uh, let's keep her going. I think they're over there at that one, so I'll, I'll go to this one. I'll let them deal with that one. Uh, I'll take these. Episodes. Fuck you! Like the bolt action. Took a couple, a few of them out, a few more. Clear them out. Nice. Let me get their ammos real quick. Destroy the weapons quick. Yeah, they already got the other one done, so good job, guys. Good job, good job. Alright, plant the bomb. Uh, Riley, I think she might be streaming tonight. Um, yeah, she's probably going to stream. If she does stream tonight, it's going to probably be Pokemon Legends, Arceus, or Arceus, or however the fuck you pronounce it. Or she may want to stream something else. But I think she was planning on... She was going to stream, like, last night, but... Like, Riley just has to be in the mood to do it. Like, if she doesn't want to stream, she's not going to stream. Ow. And I got murdered. Rip. But... I think... I talked to her earlier this morning before I started my stream. And I think she... She implied she was going to stream tonight, but... Once again, I mean, it's, that's entirely up to her. It could be Pokemon. It could be some more flight simulator. She's yet to do an F-18 stream. 
She did an F-22 stream not too long ago, and she enjoyed she enjoyed the F-22. So she may do uh, another flight sim stream. Or she, she may do something else entirely. She's also talked about uh, going back to, like, the original Five Nights at Freddy's. So... Because she she enjoyed playing uh, Security Breach so much, and she's a huge Five Nights at Freddy's fan. You know, she's thinking about uh, like playing through, I guess, almost all the five. Maybe not all of them, but at least. Uh, You've scored one thousand points. Ooh, nice. Well done. All right. All right. Let's look at the next. Uh, see, if there's anyone else in the lobby that may want to join us? Uh, not see anyone else. No one else looks familiar. Alright, look at the map. Next gang hideout is... Uh, yeah, Worthington Farm. Nah, it's just a flight simulator. It's cool, it's very cool, Snake, it, but it... I, I wish they did have, like, a, like a... Like a dogfighter version of it. Especially with, like, the... The fighter jets and the warplanes. I don't know, I feel like that's kind of a missed opportunity by Microsoft. They should, like, have a version of Flight Sim that's for PvP. Yujiello, welcome back, sir. Hope you're doing good. Alright, we're gonna go to this game. Okay. But, my cat's now meowing, wanting attention. Well, too bad. I'm busy. I'll give her attention after the stream. Like this morning, I get up right, and guess who's already by up up by her uh, freaking food bowl, just waiting for me. Yeah, before you fix your breakfast and coffee, uh, I think you're gonna fix mine first. I swear. A player has started a game. All right, that's cool. This gang had out's already been conquered. Okay. So we'll go this way. Man, we'll play for a few more minutes. What? Hello. By the way, happy birthday, cat. I don't know if it's officially her birthday, but I think she was born around this time. Sometime around, like, that's why I jokingly consider this to be her birthday, like, today or tomorrow, Valentine's. But I don't want to switch my title. I will always be the bear starer. I did, I did switch it like in between streams, but I I regretted that decision, so I changed it back at the beginning of the stream. It's just like I, I would never stop being the deputy. I'm right, gonna take out these rustlers. Let's go. Headshot. Yeah, so this 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 farm does not exist in Red Dead Online, or Red Dead Redemption Two, or in the epilogue. And you think at least in the epilogue it should exist? But yeah, it only exists in Red Dead Redemption because Red Dead Redemption takes place in well 1911 and 1914. So let's wait patiently while I reload, sir. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's secure the barn, boys. So this this is where I'm right outside of McFarland Ranch. Does not exist in Red Dead Online or Red Dead Redemption 2. Not yet, anyways. What do the McFarlands feel about this? Like having these, this farm over here? Oh, well, that works for me. Oh, fine, I'll stay up here. Works for me. I wasn't intending to parkour it up here, but I'll... Damn it, and died. Rip. Cat, I don't know why you keep meowing. I'm, I'm not gonna feed you until I'm done. Okay. I 
love that Wilhelm scream. It's a classic scream. You remember this farm? Alright, we can grab the explosive rifle if y'all want. Eh, I like to say the explosive rifle, if I, most of the time I don't even bother using it. Uh, I'll test it out for y'all real quick. We'll shoot this barn with it. Alright, so let me show y'all what it does. Man, it's actually a pretty impressive explosion, but... I'm not going to use any it any further. Okay, let's find another gang attack to do. Oh, uh, yeah, Samurai's back. Well, that was dumb. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Alright, where is he? <laughs> Alright, let's go do another gang attack. <laughs> I think it was, like, rocking a Red Harlow outfit. Or character. Is he coming back over here? Uh, or is he, is he leaving? Uh, I don't know what he's doing. Alright. Anyways. Alright, let's just go to the next gang hideout. Yeah, I mean, for, I mean, for a decade-old game, it still holds up. Alright, uh, yeah, Cobra, uh, Stellar J, just take this horse. Yeah. He knows what to do. See, I... He, he's getting the hang of it. All right, we're gonna, I guess we're going to go all the way over into west, into, yeah, the Great Plains, I guess, of West Elizabeth. Yeah, we'll just go that way. Hey, Shogun! Welcome back, Shogun. How's it going? Hope you're doing well, along with everybody else. If everybody's enjoying the stream, a like would be greatly appreciated. And we will be continuing to play Red Dead Redemption multiplayer Road to Legendary on Sundays. And there's obviously a... Some lovely uh, glitches in uh, Red Dead Redemption multiplayer, like like floating buggies, <laughs> floating wagons. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, this this is an older game that hasn't been updated in a very long time. So I, I forgive the issues that that this game happens to have. What I don't forgive is the way Rockstar has treated Red Dead Online. So, we'll just take uh, the Montana across to West Elizabeth. Alright. So, I think there's a, a few gang... I think there's some gang hideouts over here. Look at the map real quick. Actually, there's not. I mean, there is a hunting ground up here. So, we could go to the, the pig... This is the easiest hunting ground, this piggy one. I mean, look at the sky... Look, the skybox still looks pretty decent. Like this, this is my favorite skybox in Red Dead Redemption. Cause you got all the stars, you got the moon. I mean, it still looks fantastic. There's just, there's just something about a skybox that I like. That, that can make or break a game. Let's see, oh yeah, the, the floating wagons are a feature. <laughs> they are, Shogun, they are. Like, you look at, like, uh, Mafia 3, right? The skybox in Mafia 3 is awful. It's outright hideous looking. Like, if, if they... If Hangar 13 had a better skybox for Mafia 3, it would make Mafia 3 look so much better. But they're not going to go back and, and update the skybox for Mafia 3. That's not happening. But hopefully if they are working on a future Mafia game, hopefully the, one of the things they'll improve is the freaking skybox. In order to have a convincing open world game, you have to have a good skybox. It's important to have a good skybox. The best skybox is a skybox that doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. Alright, so we gotta hunt some boars. I know this is real boring, but we're gonna do it anyways. Boars? How boring, GB. Piggy! Alright. And you really don't earn it too much XP doing this one, but we're just doing it out of boredom. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. I'm sorry. 
I know, Eric is like, stop with the cheese, GB. Okay. I really wish these paid out better XP for you, but... Yeah, you know, it's a little bit of XP. It's not a lot, but it's a little bit. Some more boars to show up. We gotta kill a few more boars in order for the uh, legendary boar to show up. Okay, here's Wilbur. Alright. Speak of the devil, it's Wilbur. Wilbur! Alright, Wilbur's dead. Alright. <laughs> Erica, I didn't say anything. Oh, but you were thinking it, Erica! <laughs> All right. All right, there's another one. Wink, wink, wink. Bad piggies. Okay. Just gotta keep your eye open. There's gotta be at least one more boar laying, like lurking around. be nearby. Yeah, I mean this this guy I cannot get over the fact that this skybox still looks good. Has over 5, points. Yeah, I'm cheesy. Okay. So what do we got? I kind of feel bad for this rando. He's all by himself. I I guess he's just he's just doing his own thing in Escalera. All right, so where's the nearest gang hideout? Uh, is there anything else over here? Free room help, transport, poker. We're not gonna play poker. Free fall matches, poker. Uh, we could do land grab. I don't think everybody can do land grab. I think that's the problem. Uh, official Al, what's up, Official Al? You're starting off fresh and red dead online. Any uh, money making tips? Uh, well, um, the way we started off in red dead online um, is uh, hunting and eventually fishing. So any uh, thing you have, like kill wise, take it to the uh, butcher. Anything you hunt and kill, go to the butcher, rinse, cycle, and repeat. And eventually, once you have enough uh, gold, uh, like Erica suggests, get the trader. And then just just grind the game, just grind land of opportunities, just uh, grind uh, the uh, stranger missions. There's plenty of stranger missions around the map. I guess the best thing to do, official Al, is just do a multitude of things. And once you're high enough in rank, obviously get the fishing rod because fishing rod will help you catch a lot of fish, and the fish. Uh, make pretty good money for you at the uh, butcher's tables. Alright. So I think uh, we're going to do... Let's go and do a few more uh, casual games. Gang matches. Normal expert target mode. Like, where's the... Like, which one of these... I have a question for anyone that's in the know. Grand Prix series of horse races. Oh, no. you know what? Nah, I don't know if I want to try that. Um, like, where's the co-op? Like, how do we do the co-ops? I forget. Like, not the PvP stuff, but there is some co-op modes. Yeah, uh, daily challenges. Uh, do the daily challenges like Erica suggests. It's a great way for you to... Uh, yeah. We're, we're going to uh, bring Samurai Gangster with us, even if he doesn't want us to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So we'll, we'll play a couple rounds here and we'll call it a day. But yeah, for Undead Overrun, I do want to play Undead Overrun, but you know, I have to make sure that that, every, that at least I have one other person that's able to play Undead Overrun. But we weren't able to uh, earlier. 
So, I mean, I think, you know, we got enough stuff to do in Red Dead Redemption multiplayer to keep us entertained for, for like a three-hour stream on Sunday. So, what do y'all think? While we run around a bit. Because we got the gang hideouts we can do. We, we got these uh, casual PvP modes we can do. Uh, the co-ops, I'm going to have to sort out how to do the co-op modes. Because I know there's co-op modes. It's just been ages since I last did them. It was a long time ago. And that was back on the uh, 360, I believe. I think they're still in the game. I hope that they're still in the game. All right. I guess I can look it up in Google while we patiently wait. We got 40 something seconds left. Let me look it up real quick. Uh, what's funny is when you type in Ready to Redemption Multiplayer, it brings up a. Um, let's see, where's the Rockstar Newswire from a thousand years ago? So there's Red Dead Redemption, but then. Where is Red Dead Redemption Multiplayer? There's Multiplayer. In fact, I'm going to copy paste this in Discord in the Red Dead room for anyone interested in whatever Red Dead Redemption multiplayer has to offer. There you go. So we have free home events, posses, we got gang hideouts, uh, ambient challenges, different com competitive modes. There's also co op missions. So how do we do the co op missions? So it's, it's the Outlaws of the End co op missions pack. So I guess you have to have the Outlaw to. Outlaws to the End co-op pack because there's Kidnapped Girl, River, and Walton's Gold. Alright. Alright, so let's do this. Little, little shootout. A little 2v2. American Army. In Mexico. I, I think we're on the wrong side of the river. You. That's not me. I'm not as I'm not that thick of a boy. I mean, it's a thick boy right here. I'm not that thick. Concentrate. All right, let's concentrate. Man, I died. Your gang loses. Damn it! <laughs> Lame. <laughs> I don't know. Being the American Army in Mexico, this seems like a bad idea. I think I think if the American army was on this side of the river, it, is now available. it might cause a war between uh, America and the U.S. I mean, I mean Mexico and the U.S. The bag has arrived. All right, I'm trying to get the bag. I'm getting stuck on shit. Taken the bag. No, no, Samurai, that's my my bag. Oh, damn it! It's gonna get away. Climb up on stuff, big boy! God, you need to lose some pounds, man. Like, how did they let this guy in the army? The Answer me this. How did he get in the army? Like, I mean, he seriously is a dull boy. Which is what that was referring. Ow. Well, wasn't that hard to kill, ma'am? He, he's kind of thick. Here. And now we're outnumbered, three to two. That's That's awesome. Damn it! <laughs> it's BS because my character is so thick. He's he's such an easy target. <laughs> I mean, look at this guy. He seriously, he could he could lose a few pounds. I mean seriously, buddy. They have captured the bag. All right, got him. <laughs> Crap. Friends in high places. Damn. Say, get the book Red Dead Redemption because co-op missions are inside the book. Yeah. Well, I will. Ah, damn it! I'm blaming this specific character for my L's right now. Uh, good night, Snake. The bag is here. The bag has been taken. Your enemy has dropped the bag. Damn it! At least I'm getting, I'm getting some challenges, so that's kind of good. So that's nice. Ah, this... 
Alright. Alright. Damn it! I died. <laughs> they have taken the bag. It's BS because we're outnumbered. I like this mode so much more when it was even Steven. Excuse me. Alright, got him. Right, come on, heal. The chest is now available. Did you get out of the way so I can see where I'm shooting? Imagine telling your own character to get the fuck out of the way. Has arrived. They have the bag. Got him. All right. Nope. Come on, get him. Dude's worthless. This soldier is worthless. How did he get in a freaking army? <laughs> the bag has been captured. <laughs> You're getting stomped, Belfast. Damn it! I'm getting wrecked. <laughs> Belfast wishes he was on the other team. He's like, can I switch teams, please? Get ready. The bag Damn it! <laughs> the bag has been taken. Yeah, the Dellboy's getting destroyed. <laughs> By the way, uh, for anyone wondering why I'm calling him a Dellboy, that's what they—that's what they call these soldiers. The arm. You were beaten by Walton's gang. Well, no shit. That's what they called the American Army soldiers uh, prior and during the Great War. Wood is here. There is an historical uh, reference to why I was calling that character a doughboy. Plus, he looks like a doughboy with an army uniform on. Look, I'm not one to judge. I'm, I, I could lose a few pounds as well. Okay, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I just I just need more cardio. I mean, I work out two or three days a week, but I gotta do more cardio. And I'm trying to eat better. The struggle is real. Yeah, yeah. GG's uh, to you guys. GG's. <laughs> Alright, so we'll do one more. I think this will be the last one that we're gonna call it a day. But we are gonna continue uh, Red Dead Redemption multiplayer on uh, Sundays. 12 Central, 6 p.m. UK. And on Saturdays, we're going to continue Bully. And yeah, by the way, I got another ad restriction on uh, Episode 2, Bully Scholarship Edition. And of course, I complained to YouTube again about it. It's ridiculous. It's like <laughs> GTA, Red Dead are both ad-friendly. Bully, which is um, not as... It's, it's, I'd say it's kid-friendly by comparison to GTA and Red Dead. Most of you know this. Like, whereas Bully's a T-rated game, ESRP was ESRB. It's T for teens, right? Whereas, and uh, GTA Red Dead are M-rated for mature. There's, there's blood in GTA and Red Dead. There's a lot more violence in those two franchises than Bully. Yeah, Bully's the one that gets the... Hold on, let me, let me vote to start. Yeah, Bully is the one that I'm getting ad, limited ad revenue. Yeah, it is BS, Akeem. It's complete BS. What do you do when you're not pretending to be tough? Let's see, I'm what uh have to do Oh. Oh yeah, well I mean, I know, I was just I was just having fun. <laughs> it's no big deal, Samurai. You having fun down there? I have to do that to you, GB lot. Um. Okay. All right. So I got a few more seconds. See, Jeremy says. See, I bought uh, the book of this game. It was easy for me. Also, showed co-op mode. Okay, cool. But, yeah, I just... I don't know what YouTube's... YouTube's a bunch of freaking morons. 
As much as I love this platform, I absolutely do. I love watching content. I love making content. I love watching live streams. And I love watching others make content and live stream on this platform. There's just some things YouTube does that I don't understand. It just makes me scratch my head, you know? Miners. Where am I? I, I I'm a miner. Rebel days. I'm going to go mine for some, you. some stuff, some raw materials. That Ethereum, so so we can get them NFTs. <laughs> I'm an Ethereum miner. <laughs> there we go. What do y'all think? There we, that's what we need. We need an Ethereum mining update for Red Dead Online. Some of you are probably like, GB, don't give Rockstar any ideas. I know. I'm gonna go up here. See if I can grab a weapon. Alright. Alright. I thought there were, oh, there's a weapon downstairs. Okay, it's in the foreman's office. Okay. Alright, let me look. Uh, is it in the jail cell? Or is, is it in the safe? Or is it outside the building? I don't know. I don't fracking know. Alright. Took him out. Alright. Shit. Damn it, he got me. <laughs> you do some mining on the side on your other PC? Okay, game. <laughs> oh, this is actually a good spot to be. Alright. Where are you going? No! No, Sam, my gangster, don't shoot me! Good. Happy ending for me. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, it probably will take us a long ways to get to Legendary, but that's fine. I'm enjoying the journey, you know. Who knows? Maybe by the time I reach rank 50 uh, in this series, maybe by then, they'll, they'll actually give us updates to, to Red Dead Online. Or maybe not. <laughs> I guess we'll just have to wait and see, right? Ah, he got me. You got me. You got me real good. <laughs> I do appreciate the game putting me on the roof. It's very thoughtful. I like it up here. It's very nice. Hey, Stellar J. Stellar J. I have, I have gifts for you, Stellar J. Come back. <laughs> no. Stop it. Oh, hi, Stellar J. Hold on. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> if only Snake was still here, right? Alright. That hurt a little. Shit. Man, I couldn't even get out the barn without dying. Ah, oh, well. <laughs> Alright, let's push in. Uh. Got him up. Uh, I got a kill, and then I got killed. Well, at least I got a kill. That's what matters. Come on, get him. Yes. No, shot in the back. Damn it. <laughs> Hello, chickens. <laughs> there you go. Oh hell yeah, I got the high power pistol. Y'all done. I'm 
I'm about to tear into some stuff right here. Are you kidding me? Boo! <laughs> I, I want the, my gun! My, my high power pistol! No! That was rude, man. I just got that gun. And I died. <laughs> Nothing wrong with having a dream. I agree. Even if most dreams never come true. It is nice to have dreams every now and then. Like, right. speaking of dreams, you know, I had that high powered pistol for like five freaking seconds. Damn it. Stella J's getting me on the. Shit! Damn it. We're still doing all right, though, but they're... I mean, for being outnumbered, they're doing okay. Right. Yep. See, I really wish that uh, McFarland Ranch was this built up in Red Dead Online. Like, with the station built up like this, and the barn, and the general store, and the, the warden's office. I really wish it was this built up and read that online. But it's not. There's a way to dodge bullets. Uh, I'm just having fun, Jeremy. Damn it. I'm getting destroyed. I think some of us are camping right now. Hey, you know, whatever strat works. Got, ooh, got the high-powered pistol back. Maybe I can get some work done finally. Hell yeah, get the work done! Damn it, it took too long to reload! Lame! <laughs> Bullshit! Good job, Belfast. Damn it! Freaking Stellar J is destroying me. And like Stellar J is not even that high a rank in this game. I guess it didn't take long for you to get get used to it. <laughs> like I never claimed to be any good at. Wait, 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 wait! No, don't shoot me. All right. Yeah, I never claimed to be good at PvP. Most of y'all know that. Damn it! He's just rolling in on me. Sweet. Yes! Finally! I'll take it. I may have even killed way more, but I'll... Uh, every now and then, I'd like to get at least one kill. All right. Oh, I see. You brought the cows to help you. Oh, okay. I see how it is. Can, can I get out of the freaking stall? Ah, I'm trapped. This is a terrible spawn. There we go. Woo! Honestly, I thought I was going to be gunned down right there for a moment. Wait a minute. Where are you at? There you are. Get, get back here. Damn it! <laughs> well, at least Stellar J's gonna be ranking up pretty good. Right. Well, they are keeping it competitive. I will give them that. Ooh, I got another thing. How is Stellar J this good? How are you this good, Stellar J? Like, how? How? How is this even a, a thing? You just started playing this game. I don't know. Maybe you have played this game before, but maybe you just catch on really quickly. Maybe you're just like really good at the old 
the uh I think he's just really good at, at PvP. <laughs> Whereas I'm not so good. Alright. Fire bottle. Yeah, might as well go out fighting. Well we're they're they're putting up a good fight though, Eric. I mean we're winning, but but they're putting up a hell of a fight. And I died. Oh, I, I... Oh, he didn't... Uh, poor Samurai didn't even get the kill. Damn it. I got stomped, but... You know what happens. The miners win. Yay! The Ethereum miners win. NFTs for everybody. <laughs> Nice. I actually won. How was I the top player? <laughs> I was the top player, but I had almost the top deaths. Like, Samurai had 26, I had 20. <laughs> yeah, GG, everybody. I, I think that's going to be it for today. For uh, Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. We had fun, though. Hopefully everyone playing had fun today. And hopefully we'll have a few others join us next weekend. I think uh, is eventually going to join us. Rufus said he was going to come play. But I guess Rufus got busy today or something. But who knows? Maybe by the, maybe within a few weeks we'll have like a shit ton of people playing this. That'd be kind of cool. That's something I thought about the other day. What if I keep doing this and other people also start playing Red Dead Redemption multiplayer and before you know it? You have like a ton of people like playing and streaming Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. I doubt that's going to happen, but it'd be kind of cool if it did. Someone has staked a claim. Hmm. 1420 good goof, a yeah. A bounty has been placed on another player. Damn, you're uglier than a burnt boot. <laughs> A player wants to be part of your posse. Uh, Nike, we're going to wrap up, so we're, we're not going to... You know what? You know what? I'm going to go do... A, I'm at least going to go do uh, a Bobcat battle. What do y'all think? Bobcat battle? Bobcat battle, yes. Yes to Bobcat battle. So we're going to ride over to El Presidio and do a Bobcat battle. That's how we're going to wrap up the stream. All right. All right. I'll, I'll add him. All right. Well, that's it, though. That's the encore. I had fun playing this. The PvP is a is a breath of fresh air. Damn, damn you, GP. <laughs> you got some kills too. Say my gangster, you got some kills. I'm going the wrong way. Uh, we're gonna go to El Presidio and uh, go uh, kill some bobcats uh, to wrap up the stream. If anyone wants to go, of course the, the bobcats could end up killing us. Those little bastards. I do appreciate everybody that, that's been part of this uh, series so far. We've been enjoying it. We're going to continue it uh, next Sunday. But we'll do a little encore because that was my intention was to go uh, bobcat hunting at the beginning of the stream. But I got distracted. All right. Let me look real quick. Okay. <laughs> oh, Belfast left. Okay. All right. Let's go kill some bobcats. See, Rockstar needs to do, they set up battle mode. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do, Jeremy. Who knows with Rockstar? They're not the best at transparency. All right, so we're going to go... Ooh. El Presidio. I'm like, are we going the right way? I think we're going the right way. I think so. You know what? It might be a wise decision for me to tell everybody where we're going. Not going that way. Uh, plus the deal. All right, so we're gonna go. I think about. Wait, I think this is the. I think that's it. Okay, that's where we're going. That way, everybody knows where we're going. And people are like, "What? What is GB doing?" Okay, that's what we're doing. We're gonna go take out some bobcats and call it a day. 
But yeah, next weekend we'll continue Bully on Saturday. And we'll continue Red Dead Redemption multiplayer legendary. Well, Road to Legendary on Sunday. And eventually, whenever the Milked Edition of uh, GT Online comes out, we will be trying that out on PlayStation 5. I may pick it up for Xbox if it's like a really deep discount. Like really, really deep. But for like the first three months, you'll be able to pick up uh, GTA Online on PS5 for free. Then I imagine the price will probably go up to like 20 bucks or some shit. Probably. Damn it. What? Why is my half... Hungarian half-breed acting like this. Alright. I'm back on course. But once this is a video, uh, a Belfast channel is already below in the description section, FYI. What is going on with this horse? Why is your stamp sucking right now? This Hungarian half-breed usually does better. But I'll also include uh, Samurai Gangster's Twitch channel. Alright. You think you found a 4K TV at a decent price? Nice, Erica. Very nice. Alright. So, here we are. Time to hunt some bobcats. And then we'll, we'll wrap it up for today. We're hunting them bobcats. Kind of crazy how we have bobcats in Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. Yet we don't have bobcats in uh, Red Dead Online. Jet! Got it. Fuck! See, they can just. These little monsters can destroy you. Kind of the fun part, though. No! Leave me alone, bad kitty. No, no. <laughs> I got one yet. Its friend got me. <laughs> I'm just running around like an idiot. <laughs> Maybe I should get on this rock. That might be a good idea. And the game won't let me get on the rock. Uh, can, I, can I get on this rock? Oh, frag six. Got it. Run, run, run. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, they are they are vicious little monsters. Could you imagine these things in Red Dead Online? Uh, Roberto! Okay, I've gotta find Roberto. Frack! Freaking bobcats, I swear. Where's Roberto? Uh, Roberto's coming right for me. Oh, crap. Oh, shit. Fuck. Shit. I think someone finally got Roberto. Nice. Uh, I think there are some remaining ones left. And look at these old bastards. Oh, you mother trucker. <laughs> Stinking bobcats. Fuck you, bobcats. <laughs> Damn it. Your posse has the highest score. All right, nice. All right, cool. All right, so that's going to be it for today. But look at all these bobcats we just murdered. They're mean. I mean, they may be little, but they're freaking dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. But it would be cool if they actually added Bobcats to Red Dead Online. I know we're we're asking for too much. Yeah, Harry's going to be real mad at me for uh, killing an animal that doesn't even exist in Red Dead Online. <laughs> oh, that was funny. All right. But anyways, I uh, appreciate all you being here. But that, that's fine. I don't care. <laughs> I was leaving anyways. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, well. Turn. All right. Imagine joining me right at the end just to kill me. I don't care. <laughs> I could care fucking less. Anyways, it was fun, though. We're going to be back next weekend doing more Red Dead Redemption uh, Road to Legendary. And uh, we'll hopefully get to at least rank 35. Uh, yeah, I think we'll get at least to rank 35. And uh, I don't know if we'll reach rank 36, but we'll, we'll try to next week. See, Cold Blooded says, See, I'm back. What do you think about the Bubba show? I did a review. Uh, so, yeah, I did do a uh, Bubba Fett review, Cold Blooded. If you want to go look in the community tab, it's up there in the community tab. It's over on GB Fang. I posted it in, in the Discord and also uh, posted it out on Twitter and Facebook, FYI. So if you want to know what I think about Bubba Fett, uh, feel free to go watch uh, my Bubba Fett review. And um, let's see. I never played a Star Wars. Is it Star Wars Bounty? Oh, the old Star Wars Bounty Hunter. I never played the old one. Um, I did like Ghostbusters Afterlife. I thought about doing a review of Ghostbusters Afterlife, but it's been out a few months. But um, it's it's nowhere near the same ballpark as the original. Like, you have the original Ghostbusters movie, which is my absolute favorite Ghostbusters. I mean, it's my absolute favorite movie of all time, Ghostbusters. But, I mean, Afterlife was a decent sequel. I would say it's probably almost at the same level as Ghostbusters 2. And for the record, I love Ghostbusters 2. I do. I, I think Ghostbusters 2 is awesome for a sequel. There's way worse sequels out there. So, yeah, Afterlife was all right. Way better than uh, Ghostbusters 2016 or Ghostbusters in name only. That garbage. Uh, slash animal cruelty. <laughs> I suppose so. But I do appreciate all of you being here today. Before we go, thank you so much, Erica, for modding as always. And uh, hey, uh, for everybody watching the Super Bowl tonight, yay, go team. Whatever team you're, you're going for, go team. I hope it's a good game. I'm not going to watch, but as long as it's a good game and everybody's entertained, Hopefully, uh, Dr. Dre and friends will put on a good halftime show. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And uh, I think most of the commercials have already been put out on YouTube. So that's like if you're going to like watch the Super Bowl just for the commercials, you just go on YouTube right now because I think most of them are officially on YouTube. Uh, nothing beats uh, the original Ghostbusters. I agree. I agree entirely, Akeem. You and I are in complete agreement. That's That's my personal favorite movie of all time. I like a lot of movies out there. A lot of franchises, but my favorite movie of all time is the original Ghostbusters. But Ghostbusters 2 and Afterlife, they're they are worthy sequels. But they're they are not even the same uh, level as the original Ghostbusters. See, uh, 2016, was, was it a fever dream or just a, a nightmare? I think it was more of a nightmare. But before we go, thanks to Kim and Erica for modding as always. Uh, Belfast, thank you for being here. By the way, check out Belfast channel, link below in the description section. And uh, I'll put Samurai Gangster's uh, Twitch account. I'll go ahead and post his Twitch account once more. Uh, that's not it. My bad. Okay, but I'll, I'll post it in the description section uh, once this is a video. Yeah, we don't, we don't count that version, Erica. I've never had a problem with female Ghostbusters, but the 2016 movie is awful. It's absolutely awful. And anyways, I think enough of that topic, but... <laughs> yeah so uh yeah thanks erica akeem along with belfast i see stella j the old star wars bounty hunter game was so much fun i never got a chance to play that stella j but i've played a ton of older star wars games over the years but thanks for playing this today today stella j you're surprisingly good at pvp better than i thought of course it's me we're talking about i'm trash at pvp I see Cold Blooded, thanks for being here. Slash, thank you for being here. Samurai Gangster, thanks for being here. Jeremy Clay, thanks for being here. Who else was here today? Snake was here. Good to see Snake. Uh, Official Owl was here. Hopefully, you can uh, rank up in Red Dead Online and make plenty of money in Red Dead Online, Official Owl. I did do a Red Dead Online guide, so if you want to go to the guide playlist, Official Owl, if you're still here, uh, I've got a few uh, Red Dead Online guides there, including a beginner's guide, so check out that guide. It might help you out. Uh, UG Outlaw, thank you for being here. Uh, 901 Shogun, thank you so much for being here, Shogun. Along with, to see who else was here today. Martin Hernandez. Martin, we had fun playing some PvP early in Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. Hopefully we'll see you again, maybe a week from now, for some more Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. And uh, DeForest Smith, uh, thanks for being here, DeForest. Along with Andre, thank you for being here. Max Ammo, Rob, One Love, thanks for, for your, all of you being here. Appreciate that, Max, Rob, and One Love. 
along with Tokyo Tent. Thanks for being here, Tokyo Tent. And Panos is also here along with Baseline. Thanks, guys, for being here. Who else uh, stopped by? Dark Matter Wolf was also here. So good to see Dark Matter Wolf. Rain was here. And then who else was here today? Uh, I think I think I covered everybody. Oh, yeah, Team Ad stopped by earlier as well, along with Sinister. Thanks again for the Super Chat, Sinister. Super Chat's always greatly appreciated. And let's see, Minky Minx, she also stopped by earlier, so it's good to see Minky Minx again. So, yeah, Rain was here, Baseline was here, Tokyo Tent. I think that's everybody. I think I mentioned everybody that showed up in live chat, at least almost everybody, but I do appreciate y'all for uh, being here. So the next streams will obviously be Saturday, Bully, and then Sunday, more Red Dead Redemption multiplayer, Road to Legendary, 12 o'clock Central start time, 6 p.m. UK. And if you did enjoy today's stream, be sure and leave a like. If you're new to the channel, I've been streaming a few different games like Bully, Red Dead Redemption Multiplayer, but we also cover and stream GTA, Red Dead, and more. If you like the content streams, you're welcome to subscribe and ring ding the bell. Sometimes it does work if that's the way you would like to be notified. You can also be notified other ways, which I'll get to in just a moment. And thank you so much to Super Chat Heroes for February 2022, as well as all of our members. By the way, the junior members, members, elite members, always mentioned at the beginning of live streams, listed below in the description section of all live streams. They're featured at the beginning and ending of all my videos and over in the about section of the channel where you can also find the weekly live stream schedule to keep you informed about the days, times, platforms, and games I'm streaming. And the About section is also where you can find the socials. Before we get to the socials, check out my Bubba Fett review. It's in the community tab. I posted it there, and it's over on my other channel, GB Fang. So I have a couple other channels like Go Burns Vlogs, as well as GB Fang, which is kind of like a Viva Variety channel. But that's in the channel section along with Riley's channel and a few other friends' channels as well. But back in the About section, the socials. we got Odyssey now. We also have uh, Twitter and Facebook. So I do post my streams and content via Twitter and Facebook on a regular basis. That's another great way to be notified is Twitter and our Facebook. And I do post tweets, additional tweets here and there. It's a bad habit. Maybe one day I'll, I'll go cold turkey again. But yeah, so I am also on Twitter and Facebook. I'm also on Instagram in case you guys want to see photos of my cats, my dog, a uh, variety of food I like to eat every now and then, and some other pics over on Instagram. We also have an awesome Discord community. You're cordially invited to join. We do have rules. The rules are basic rules, standard rules. Uh, read over the rules, follow the rules, post in the correct rooms, and there'll be no trouble. And if you want citizen status in our Discord, all you got to do once you read the rules and join our Discord is simply go into general. It's the only room you all have access to at the beginning and just ask for citizen status or just say hello. Hi, howdy. What's up? What's happening? Do that and see uh, Red, Shotgun, Riley or myself will grant you citizen status so you can go into all the rooms. But like I said, I have a pet peeve. I just post in the correct rooms. For example, GTA chat is for GTA. RDR chat is for Red Dead, and we have a gaming hall for most of the other games. We have a few other gaming rooms as well here and there. We also have a TV room for TV shows, film for films, uh, comics for comics, and a, we even have a political room where I, I post a lot of the GB Fang political stuff. But anyways, I do appreciate all of you being here. If you enjoyed the stream, be sure and leave a like. Have a great week. Happy Valentine's, single awareness, Super Bowl weekend to all of you. And from the bottom of my heart, from me to each and every one of you, as always, thanks for watching.